What's going on, everybody? I am Captain Robert, and this is Saved by the Spell. Welcome to the home of live interactive improv D&D on the internet. Two time. <laughs> Two time world champ. I didn't want to call you out on it, but everybody else did. Two time. Second time. Hey, Wait, does, it, does it count if we didn't fuck up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Malaka. 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 <laughs> Malaka. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Game of Saving Throws. Episode number 41. Let's go. 41. That's not cool. <sighs> 40. I'm over it. It's done. I was gonna make walking. I was gonna make a tool 46 and 2, and then I couldn't remember the rest of the lyrics, so. <laughs> no one else can either. It's fine. It's a tool song. I know the pieces fit. That's what I gotta know. <laughs> Just one more song that I can't play on bass on Rock Man. Right? It's so simple though. I'm an incredibly horrible bassist at Rock Man. You need to be Jimi Hendrix level bass player. If you're playing Tool on Rock Band, it's <laughs> goddamn ridiculous. It's easier to get drunk and play a real instrument than it is to get drunk and try to play Rock Band. <laughs> well, yeah, because you got to think, oh, blue, yellow, green, red. Well, no, that's F sharp, G minor. You got you to play a Guitar Hero because it's, it's the controller and the shape of the notes that are getting you. Guitar Hero is a superior element. Did you know, fun fact, when I asked this, Lonnie knew all of the secrets and Rock Band is the company that made it for Activision and Guitar Hero. So they're, they're the mm -hmm. actual OGs. Right, but Guitar Hero is better. I wouldn't really know. I think they're oh my all God, children. Are we really fucking talking about Guitar Hero and Rock Band uh, right now? Oh, Listen I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's I mean, all night. it's mud. I mean, we're talking, this is, hey, don't delve too far into his stream content. We can't, we can't take this rant away from him. It'll be can, kicked can up I, on Monday. Can I ask this question? Does a banana burn? <laughs> it doesn't. You'll, ha you'll have to Actually. go to my YouTube to find out. <laughs> <laughs> We're changing the stream title now to Do Bananas Burn? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That was just a big question last week. <laughs> Do they burn? Everybody was wanting to know, okay? <laughs> Guess you'll have to find out. Becca didn't get to see the uh, banana pudding ASMR video that I linked oh out. Oh my God. No, I missed that one. Oh. I think it's okay that I missed it though. I swear that Robert just goes to the internet and Googles sexual ASMR and then just and then just posts and links us all the videos that come up. It's, it's like an old man washing I, your face. <laughs> Dude, that is straight nightmare fuel that I found. He's like, he's like squeezing a washcloth off of the water and like dabbing the camera with it. Like, oh my God, so, so uncomfortable. It is the most, oh dude. Uh, there's another, oh, that one is super uncomfortable. Then there's one, well, there's one girl that makes, makes barber small talk. Uh, you, okay. <laughs> What, what is even that? I can't oh, picture what that is. How's, how's your how's your day going? How's, how's work been? It's fucking things, things that people ask you when you get a haircut, like oh, so yeah. fill the fill the fill the space. I I couldn't do it. I lasted ten minutes. I was like, I gotta get out of this chair. I can't do this challenge. <laughs> this is fucking Just horrible. Cut my fucking hair and stay silent. <laughs> Dude, and I love small talk, and it was like, oh, this is like small talk with zero, zero personal connection that goes mm. nowhere. Because it's just one-sided. It's just you listening to this one-sided conversation. It's like you would be walking past someone at a Great Clips in the mall. And that's that was the day that you put your head in the toilet and you just kept flushing. Well, they're, like, selling, the, they're selling the fantasy. You're there in the chair, right? yeah. you got your eyes fantasy. closed, you're getting a haircut, yeah. right? You've got your you've got your arms on the on the armrest and and your 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 hairstylist is is cutting uh is you know cutting your hair and uh you know she That's leans a little a too far I've and never really brushes against you and you have physical connection for the first dog. time in years you know <laughs> mm -mm. no she actually brushes your arm and you're like oh <laughs> you know like where do you go to get your haircut from a dude Dale's <laughs> 
<laughs> Dale's men shop. It's the uh, fantasy, though, you know. It's the physical what? connection. Like you're just you're just imagining. Uh, you miss human touch. That you're in the sports uh, clips. In chat, if you really want to know, if you want to find the good stuff, you have to Google or YouTube personal attention ASMR, and that's how you find the good stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank you for that secret. I will sleep so much better tonight knowing that <laughs> tomorrow I'm not sleep at all. <laughs> I can Google that and just follow myself down the rabbit hole. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a hospice carry ASMR. Uh, oh my God, you're so fucking it's, dark. It's, Sounds of respirators and stuff. <laughs> it's already there, bro. It's already there. Oh my God. It's, I'm telling you that if you could, if it is, ASMR has been officially rule 34 there's no new territory. There's no new territory. I found most of the creepy ones. I'm still, still on the hunt. Still on the hunt. There's still, uh, you know, new frontiers. Speaking oh of new God, frontiers, <laughs> how about your uh, announcements this week? Radio, you got a few. Oh, uh, let's see. Announcements this week. Thank you, Jesus. I'm done with all the stuff at work. Woohoo! And I'm so excited as I've been digging into uh, Destiny Season of the Dawn, uh, having some fun playing that again with uh, all my Destiny streamers. Another feature coming up this Tuesday on uh, Mixer's Destiny Tuesdays. I don't know how you say that. That the little two in the U-E-S-D-A-Y. But uh, yeah, 10 o'clock, we'll be uh, hanging out and uh, shooting aliens per the use working on saving uh saint 14 i hope but we'll see you right, fight like an animal why did Damn i click right. that link <laughs> oh god you did it you got into it didn't you oh yeah i just relinked it for chat so you can uh... you know they can have a point of reference of since it's friday the 13th if you guys really want to scare yourself i challenge you just to listen to the intro you just all you got to do is get past the intro and it's... then come back <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Becca, you got any That's announcements it. for this week? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mudcat, but we have a PO box now. Oh yeah, I did set that up today. Yeah, we, we have, have a, a PO box. box. We and have then a I can PO send you creepy box. shit now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Send your sperm samples. Uh, oh, I will link the. I will no. put the address in our Discord hmm. if you're interested. Good news, I got a 13 year old jar that I've been saving for just the right occasion. <laughs> Make sure, make sure it's not too big. It's only like a five by five PO box, so, you know. <laughs> I had like buddy, I, was going to. I, I do what I say I'm gonna do. Don't fucking, don't fucking come at me like that. I, I, I had buddies God. in college that went around to uh, every all the fraternity houses to go collect. <laughs> what a gross collection. Why? Why? Dude, biomedical, dude, sold that shit. Mm -hmm. They're making fucking uh, 100, 100 bucks, 100 bucks. A, uh, I don't know, whatever you, whatever you had to fill it to. I, blood, I didn't, oh. blood and plasma. I didn't. Okay. All right. I, I don't hey, want to learn this topic. I, I didn't want to have a child that looked like the radioactive fish from The Simpsons. So, you know. <laughs> Swamp thing. <laughs> or like Bart uh, Eagle twin. Yeah. Yeah. Like a gross Can imagine this, this college student going to the smart and finally he's got a case of mason jars on his shoulder and a smile. Oh. Uh, it's like What's Van Wilder. Those? Van Wilder had really good business ethics. <laughs> they put they put them in the the uh, freezer. Yeah. Hey, there's. You I'm learned, so learned, creeped out right now. You learn shit every day. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So uh, anyway, we do have the PO box, and I'll uh, put the address <laughs> in the in the Discord. Please do not in the in our, any of that. No. Discord.gg slash bad guys if you're not I'm in there. I'm gonna have to be uh, the one who goes to pick it up. Do not uh, make two uh, keys. I might get my hands on some. No, it's don't don't do that. <laughs> It'll probably mostly be love letters to me, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Someone please uh, write Mudcat a love letter. I mean, dear Mudcat. If you I write like me a love letter, I'll read it. I well, jerked off to you twice a day then. <laughs> why, why, you know, Chet, why bother to play Elf on a Shelf this season when you can play <laughs> Semen on a Beam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Uh, welcome to Friday the 13th. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Bet you regret making announcements now, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> Never again. Never again. Nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Mud, you got to get more announcements? Uh, I have also have a feature on Tuesday, same time as Radio Mang, so I think we've been playing together. Totally. Double, double dip that feature. Uh, take over the front page. Uh, let's see. Other than that, uh, God, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's about it with the the, the thing and the stuff. And uh, uh, if you want to see bananas burning, you can go to our YouTube, uh, youtubecom slash mudcat and uh, sub there because we're trying to grow the YouTube. You're welcome. And uh, you can watch Caustic try to burn bananas and and watch my awesome cinematography skills. You bring me that content on the regular. You've got my sub. I've got a lot of really good one-liners. Literally, my first time shooting a video with a camera, and the camera totally made it look like I know what I'm doing. It really did. Really <laughs> <laughs> fucking really, crazy. Really tied really the room together. Fun. I also have a feature for Tuesday for D Tuesday over here on Mixer. I'm gonna be at 11 a.m. Central Time on mm. tuesday mm -hmm. so i will be rocking a day stream and then i'll be playing with radio and mudcat later in the evening as we go shoot shit so you're not fucking invited to a day <laughs> bro this is our thing bro you you just gonna have to get in this ghost stream somehow bro i'm grandfathered in uh <laughs> Everybody out there that is also part of the Destiny community that would like to get in for this giveaway, I'm giving away two sweet 11 by 14 pictures of Saint 14. Get in on mm. this thing. It is awesome. Mm. It is Tasty. art. Culture it yourself. Art. You can stare Gorgeous. into the abyss. But yeah, get in that because you're, like, if you do, you got like like a one in 40 chance to win right now. And that's a way better odds than, uh, than any of the other giveaways. So, you know, like, uh, like mud says, get yourself a taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't, I will stop my <laughs> clicking finger from clicking. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, I, I openly have already started recruiting other people to get in on that. Uh, <sighs> Other than that, uh, just a just an apology for <laughs> how incredibly long it took to update the VOD for last week's episode. Holy shnikes. Uh, I, I didn't think it would take 36 hours to render cutting a, you know, uh, a couple of minutes off the back end of that, uh, that, that VOD, but damn if it didn't. So we were... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't we didn't get that vod out early for anybody we didn't we were two days late past my normal uh you know upload time because i thought i could make incremental changes and that was that was that was wrong and then my adobe premiere has crashed i can't get adobe premiere to work on my uh either one of my pcs right now they just did their update uh their yearly update and like the import feature locks up and crashes each time so i haven't figured that good shit times. out yeah it's good time so then i was like trying to learn another piece of editing software and yeah it was going it, it was a swell week for me <laughs> swell week in that regards but appreciate you guys waiting and sticking it out for for us uh, Ooh, uh i had another announcement go for it you uh you guys i just wanted to talk about this because it's cool uh you guys know uh who zach ward is no. Is that the name? Do you guys know the name Scott Farkas? Scott Farkas? Yeah. You know the name? Is in from Christmas Story? Yeah, like the bully in Christmas Story? Yeah, the kid with a fucking hat. And the fucking yellow... followed me on Twitter. Scott Farkas followed you on Twitter? I mean, he, you know what? It's probably a mistake. He probably thought he was following Will Wheaton. Sorry. I, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, move on with you. <laughs> Go ahead, move on. Get out of here. <laughs> Go ahead and like, move on something really cool. That's fine. Get out of here. You also got a haircut today. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt your announcement, Robert. Sorry. <laughs> hey, and uh, those, those, uh, those clout falls are, are special, especially this time around the season. There's nothing like a good little dose of clout that can, you know, sometimes pull you out of the uh, the, the grasp of winner's embrace. I just love that movie. <laughs> and Caustic hates it. So 
It's How can you hate that movie? I have Ooh. no interest in watching it. Oh my God, there's issues with you besides I not do. washing your legs when you shower. I don't like holiday movies. They're overrated. They're too cheery. It's just... Tell that to jingle all the way. Ugh. Do you like Christmas Vacation? Worse. Turbo no. Man. No, I don't want to watch it. Never any seen of Christmas them. Vacation. Well, what? No. I don't ever want to watch it. Merry Christmas, Christmas some day. Shatterful, you missed that? Oh, no. Jesus. I don't. Nope. It's not. I don't think she's seen any of the vacation movies. Yeah. I'm a Halloween, not Christmas kind of individual. If, if I pass out and I don't come back to the camera within three minutes, call the emergency services. <laughs> I didn't know it's any of this when good. I married her, guys. Otherwise, I'd have made a different decision. I will laugh at Elf. And I only like White Christmas because my mother loves it. And I love her. Stepping okay. away from all that. Yeah, Those she's are fine. only two Christmas movies. Do you, do you not like Die Hard? Die Hard is not a Christmas movie to me. Yes, it is. No, uh, it isn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> it has it as the Alan Rickman would make it differ. Yeah, it exactly. Christmas don't, movie. Don't you dare. It is go not. the Dead Man. That is a not, Christmas movie. It is not a Christmas movie. Just, just, the and, fact that Christmas is happening is a background noise to the actual uh, story. Fight me on it. No. Uh, Bad Santa, can we get some wooden pickles in the chat, please? Can we just flood chat with wooden pickles? I mean, would we even have this emote? Would we even would we even know what a wooden pickle is with without Bad Santa as a movie? I didn't know that was the reference. I mean, probably this but entire time. I, had no idea. Uh, I mean, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the most popular places to see a wooden pickle um, in Hollywood. And ours, ours is ours, is, ours is not bloodstained. What the public thinks. Almost eighty percent say yes. That is a Christmas movie. And almost eighty percent of the public is uneducated and stupid. Tell Car tell that to Carl Winslow's face, and then come that back here. That only counts during election season. <laughs> you tell Carl Winslow that it's not a Christmas movie to his face, and I will. Good luck. That Fine. man. That man raised me. He might as well be one of my uncles. I'm just saying, it's not a Christmas movie. I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't have any of the Christmas movie tropes. It's not a uh, Christmas movie. It does. It's trying to get back, man. It has a man. touching ending. Okay, the most Christmas thing about it is getting a little too intoxicated and calling someone you shouldn't. That's the most Christmas thing of all time. That just sounds like a bad rom-com. <laughs> Uh, welcome to which I also don't watch. I don't know. I don't even see. <laughs> I'm not really interested in any of that kind of content. <laughs> anything uh, with heart is not my kind of thing. Is she still talking? I haven't heard anything that she said. Besides. Christmas movies are stupid. Well, guys, it looks like I'm getting my own separate PO box. <laughs> <laughs> you want to send this? Send it to mine. Beyond the waiting line and the post office out the mine. door. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I was really looking forward to playing semen on a beam. <laughs> I hope I hope somebody in the chat sends you some homemade tapioca. Just so oh, just I am remember. the one who has to go pick this up. Don't gross me out. Just remember, someday, long after we're all dead. This VOD will exist uh, <laughs> and the future generations of historians will examine it for historical context and culture. God, I hope so. Then they'll I'm realize fine. that Die Hard really is a Christmas movie mm -hmm. and that Caustic is wrong. We, th this will serve to confirm that Die Hard was in fact uh, culturally a Christmas event <laughs> for future historians. I have yet to hear any valid fucking... argument. No. See, that's not even a Christmas thing. Christmas saying. isn't about arguments. It's his own it's about separate thing. Movie. You've got to believe all the great things nope i Beautiful. think it's a great movie don't get me wrong die hard is a great movie not a christmas movie yes it is so where did we leave off last week well in this friday the 13th episode of saved by the spell <laughs> i really kind of wanted to have uh, like halloween in december real bad I would always be for that. We should we should have doubled down on the holiday. 
Oh, just just skin it. Let's go. Skin it on the fly. <laughs> skin it on I the mean, fly. With, with on the, the fly. way this is going right now, it's it's kind of Halloween esque. I mean, I've got my my firstborn son raising fucking skeletons from the dead. Mm -hmm. Just make Sansuria a zombie now. That's <laughs> done. I mean, she kills kills, or she might be. Uh, I mean, I've been trying to raise whatever caustic kills on the field anyway. <laughs> well, this time I disintegrated his body, so you can't find him anymore. Uh, by the way, I have inspiration, so can I get the little light bulby thing? Ooh, inspiration. One d six from forever that sin rolled earlier today. That's funny. I tried to hit inspiration. I just end up giving you a little, little character tile instead. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 character tiles. Why don't we have those up? <laughs> I don't think I have those actually arranged. I think that's oh my God. just, you know, just random there. It is good art. God, this, this is, is the, the worst production. Art. This is the worst production value. That's not good art. I'll show you. This is good art. I love it. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay, we got to settle this. This is not good art. Let me show you good art. Uh... So I've got time to go get a cup of coffee, right? I mean, it's going to be a while. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a handsome dog right there. Thank are, you. Are you ready? Are you Thank ready for you. really good art? Laugh. Are you ready for, the, for you ready for really good art? No, it's the worst. It, thing it's, it is it is horror themed to go horror. along with our Friday the thirteenth. Not horror themed. Oh. Mike Tyson? Did you draw that? It's a zombie, Mike Tyson. I did not. <laughs> I had a friend paint this in college and Cossack hates it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up. Because I respect you as a friend, but your your wife is right. Thank you. Oh, this is great. This is great. Look how beautiful it is. You, you instantly it, knew it was Mike Tyson. It's close enough. No, I actually the fucking face tattoo. Uh, what, the tattoo only, was Mike Tyson. Giveaway? only the face tattoo. Because at first I was like, oh, is that Batista? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little bit of drag in there, you know. <laughs> I used to hang this in our bedroom. She hated it. It was oh. terrifying. Oh my god. No. That that. <laughs> Put in a bathroom to get people the fuck out. Oh Put my! That in the bedroom. You're not sitting there pumping away, looking over, going, "Yeah, Mike." No. No. I mean, hey, to each their own. Throw it away. No, I'm gonna hang it in the background of my stream. Fuck you guys. It's the worst. I do have the. Chibata. It would be the first time Chad doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Remind me at the end. I'll go get the Chewbacca. Chewbacca with a surfboard. I didn't is our other clip. piece of art. You must have broken by clipping too much. <sighs> Beautiful. Our home actually has normal art. These are all pieces that we can hold up because they are not on our walls for a oh, reason. That, that dog was on our walls. Don't you say that. It was I also know, in our bedroom for a time. It was in our bedroom because it was funny. It there made it me is. laugh. There it is. You hear that? I smell a recap coming on. The drums are beating. Captain, tell us what happened last week on Saved by the Spell. Is the party headed towards the top of the roof of Lynn Amra? You guys encountered a set of the Vulture Riders, presumably sent by Yan C. Ben a foreboding undead vulture and a very, very dark scale dragonborn riding in on a trident, you guys encountered the son of Hister, the eldest son, Dominus, where you guys began to engage in combat, slapping the base, grabbing some crystals, unfortunately losing one of your friends, Rufus, the white dragonborn, who you'd snap free from his chains and engaged in a raucous battle on top of this tower we left off with you guys seeing the crystal that had been broke off to try to save rufus that ultimately ended his life growing and engorging itself inside of that control room atrium is now expanded to almost the size of the glass. Chikios has taken a dive for Sansuri up at the top of the tower and currently has her grappled in his Fey Dragon's mouth. The very top of the round, we have 
Harshnag, actually. Of all folks. All right. Bad boy pulled up. I don't even know where Harshnag's at. All right. So many tabs. Harshnag is up here. Uh oh. Why am I saying? Uh oh. Don't worry. I'll fix that in just a second. All right. Hmm. Also, can I say that last song's like all drums and I really like it? It's, of course it's pretty you do. It's, all like Garth, it's like Garth playing drums in the guitar oh. shop. It's it's aptly named called Barbarians. <clears throat> I like to play. <laughs> you see nothing of what's going on here right now. All right, I'm gonna get the battle map switched over. Ta-da! Ta-da! It doesn't want to show up. Ta da! All right. <laughs> there it is. All right. Perfect. Bam! All right. Harshnag currently has got a bone daddy on him. I'm going to. I'm gonna say that uh, Harsnag's gonna dispense of that skeleton, one of the skeletons that Dominus has raised. Let's go ahead and get that ax warmed up. <coughs> Net 20, baby! Oh, let's go, get those 20s in chats if you got them. <laughs> Net 20, live. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> That is a big old fat DTD. I don't even have to calculate that one up. That thing is, <laughs> that thing is toast. Golfling. Let's be honest, you probably couldn't do the math if you tried. Mm. <laughs> Speak for yourself. All right. You got a calculator. You don't need to do math. Jerk. I have an unlimited wealth of knowledge in my hands. <laughs> That's just I'm, the internet. You're stupid. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and swing at the second skeleton. Everybody else has been <clears throat> holding kind of in a truce thus far, including the air elemental that hasn't attacked us. So I'm just going to take care of these fucking skeletons. Good idea. Because they're not going to hold for anything. Well, good news. I rolled a two. But oh, it's a skeleton. And I have a plus 11. So I, st I still hit it. Still connect. <laughs> I still connect. And that will also be another DTD as I take my axe and just fucking smash the shit out of it. I'm just going center mass. The axe might as well be sideways so I can just pick up as many bones as possible. <laughs> Harshnag is gonna patiently await surveying the scene. He's gonna stay where he's at. Kind of looking for direction. All right. Down this way. Dominus's undead vulture is going to fly over here and hold put right on the edge. After uh, after getting fucked with. It's going to make its way over there. This precious bird. Baby bird. Pretty uh, bird. Dada, that's my bird. Dada. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that goes. 
there's one bird that's in sight of a handful of you that's up this way it is going to disappear from line of sight actually no i think this one's already actually disappeared this one this one dove down already so it's uh mm -hmm. it's been it it's been chasing me yeah this one's uh this one's trying to collect trying to collect some uh some flying uh flying cultist and same with that one cultist because i took his squirrel suit Oh yeah, uh, we're, he's falling faster. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Can you point me which one you took their suit? Was it this one right here? The one out in the air. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's screwed. Yeah, he's the one who actually jumped uh, effectively after me. Yeah. The others got dropped pretty quickly. He's he's not he's, not he's not he's not making it. Yeah. Oh no. That that dude's more than likely DTD. <laughs> He took a squirrel suit. How could he live? Squirrel. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. All the way up in the tower, Sansuri is currently grappled and restrained. Mm. All right. Her being restrained, she's not going to be able to cast. Uh -huh. All right, Sansuri is going to, she is going to hold her turn. Is she, is she grappled? Mm -hmm. Is she is gra her grappled? Grappled and restrained. And restrained, okay. <clears throat> Just, what do you expect by holding me here? <clears throat> All right, she's going to hold her turn. It's Dominus's turn, and then it is back to the turn order of Emery, Ruby, and Hester. <laughs> Can you remind me how I was, uh... I went down last round. Was that Chikios that res me or is that Ruby? Me. Ruby. Okay. That's why I'm right next to you. Okay, I couldn't remember what you used. I was just trying to remember. Something that kept you alive? Oh, I don't know. I don't be ungrateful. It might matter. I just was asking. <sighs> Your wounds. Okay. Dominus. It's going to get a lay of the land. By the way, radio, I got you leaning like almost completely out of the frame. Dominus is going to look up and use his disengage. And he's going to slowly start backing up. And he's going to back up all the way up over to the edge and hop back up on top of his vulture on the very, very end. He's gonna hold his vocalization for just a second and just remain calm, not say anything just yet. Emery, it is your turn. Okay. 
Um, does he does he look like he's leaving or is he just like mounted attacking now or something? Is it? Can I tell? Like, you can't tell whether he's in full GTFO. It doesn't look like he's attacking now. Okay. Um. Then. <clears throat> Are they confused looking over at that and, and seeing that he's backing off and, and Chikyo said, I think I'm going to cast Reduce on Sansuri. Uh, she's going to have to make a constitution saving throw, which I hope goes poorly. <laughs> that one, come on. All right. Sansuri's constitution saving throw is an 18. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just hoping for a bad roll. Uh, I, can, I can feel that. I don't know what you're using on me, but I can certainly feel it. Uh, okay. That's uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what she's doing. Uh, I'm going to take this time to, um, let me see how many, how many of these I got left. If I have enough or not. I have, okay, I'm going to spend sorcery points to regain spell slots. So that'll be my bonus action. All right. Ruby Shore, it is your turn. I am going to cast Cure Wounds at the second level on myself. Because I love myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm eyeing Dominus <laughs> as this is going on. And side glancing at his store to see if he wants me to do anything. Like I'm looking for a cue. <laughs> do you want me to do something? <laughs> Sorry, that hit my water bottle. <laughs> Dang. I just thought it was one of uh, radio sound effects. <laughs> Would you like an apple pie with that? <laughs> Tis the season. All right, 13 nice. points of healing. There we go. I'm just going to continue. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead. Um, can I do as my bonus action move to check out the crystal situation as well? Oh yeah, go ahead and uh, okay. go ahead and Can use you your bonus it? action for a perception check. Okay. How bad is the shit? Okay, that is going to be a nineteen. It's not good. <laughs> when you go up to the doorway. <clears throat> and open it up it's like staring into an out of control pile of rock candy just to how much time considering it's been I don't know how many rounds of combat it's been within five or six minutes for this shit to go and get out of control. Okay, so about so, five or six minutes. Oh shit. Yo, fair, fairly quick. Oh, so like, I'm trying to get like a sense of time. Like we could probably do one more round and then shit's blowing. I mean, you don't have any point of reference to know. That's true. Yeah, you know, the last time crystals exploded it was inside of mecha randy okay so you, you don't know when but you know it's a big boom okay i'll yell at sensor give us the conch and we'll get out of here or we'll destroy your tower Go ahead, roll a, uh, roll an intimidation check. I'm known for my intimidation. <laughs> That's a 19. 
Solid. Alright. Pop it again. Seems unlucky. <clears throat> Anything else for your turn? No. Mm. Well, wait. I just, uh, we still have our little earpieces, right? Where we can talk to each other. Yeah. And can I whisper in it? I'm like, guys, this thing is going to not go well. The crystal is very large. Like, it grew. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. I don't know a whole lot. That's all I could share. Sorry, mm. guys. Hister, it is your turn. God. So much here. <clears throat> so if I use dash, I can move up to 60, right? That takes up an action. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, all right. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. And I know what he's thinking right now, too. Shit. I okay. Feel free to share. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll explain it probably as it's happening. So hearing you bark that over the earpiece and having just stepped between his eldest son and our little dragon, <clears throat> he's just going to tell Dante, go get that giant off this fucking rock. Go get him over to the safety pointing over at Harshnag and he's going to use his movement to go towards the staircase but while he's moving he's going to yell at Emery to throw him his ring of feather fall can I do that? I mean, on his turn, he can throw throw him his ring of feather fall. Okay. Because I'm 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 only gonna be able to move here in that turn. Mm -hmm. Oh man! So you can go sixty, right? You can probably get to yeah, the I, stairs. I, I, I can get to the stairs, mm -hmm. but I don't want I don't want it to be too far of a throw for you because. <laughs> I mean, this happens all in a few seconds, you know? Yeah, history's Hister, going to need that to do what he wants to do, mm -hmm. or it's going to be death. Well, we'll probably have to roll to see if we can effectively throw it and catch it. Yeah. We will see. Well, well I mean, that, that's, what, that's what it's going to be. He's going to he's gonna shout at Dante Alfonso mm -hmm. to tell uh, him to get Harshnag mm -hmm. off the fucking, uh, off the, the castle, I... and he's going... Don't believe that Dante Alfonso can take Harshnag off this castle. He's too small. It's not large enough to haul a giant. I can still cast Featherfall on everybody. It's not him that he needs it for. I'm gonna I'm gonna double I'm gonna double check that shit and see how much he can carry if he does it'll be like it'll be right at the fucking weight limit I know it'll be a struggle boss if he does they're gonna be a sad bunch in the air but paired with Featherfall that might make him it might make it more doable
Yeah, he's somewhere in between like a red dragon wormling and a young adult dragon. He's got, he's a medium build right now with 19 strength. All right, so let me explain what's going on in history. Mm -hmm. Right now, seeing Chikios grab Sansuri, seeing his son making a break for it, knowing what's going on in that crystal room, the first thing he thinks of are the two kids downstairs. And in his mind, he's making a break for them and he needs the ring of Featherfall to make sure that he can get them to the ground safely. <laughs> Those brats. They don't even like Pepper. Uh, You're too good of uh, a person. He's making a beeline for the fucking kids. Cause in his mind, that's a, a bargaining piece against Sansuri to get the conch. I mean, the daughter is. Well, it's it's really the daughter, but he's going to try and save them both if he can. All right, you do you. <laughs> that's it for turn one. Why is Hister such a thick boy? <laughs> These are the questions that must be answered. All right. So are you telling anybody what you're doing? You're just you're just going. Basically just mm. shouted to fucking Dante to try and get the goddamn get his bash brother off the fucking thing and yelled at Emery to throw him the ring and he's moving. Ah, uh, fuck, I can't speak. She's in my fucking mouth. Don't speak. Don't speak. Can, can, we, get a, no, can no. we get a quote there, please? Yeah, mm. I was totally caught off guard. I forgot the context of that. <laughs> I can't speak. She's in my what? mouth. Dude. Dude. It's not a guarantee if he fucking throws the ring, it'll be a catch. There are a lot of fucking, there's a lot of double back opportunities on the table. Oh, it's a horrible idea. You thought jumping through the moon door was a horrible idea, but look. This is worse than jumping through the moon door. Alive this is worse well. than jumping through the moon door. If I had to go back, I would jump through that moon door again. <laughs> again. <laughs> and I would sing a song on my you way. Want to do it again right now. That's, I mean, that's how I live my life. <laughs> We're a mile at a time. I have no regrets. Not even one. No what? raggards. No raggards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look up with wide eyes as I can see the crystal filling that navigation room, and I'm gonna maintain my re restraint on Sansuri. Um, as a dragon, I can't do anything else past chomping down on her, and we're on a we've we've officially turned into the the plot of the first speed movie. <laughs> Don't go below 55. I can take Rufus out of the turn order. Who's Keanu Reeves in this situation? Who's Sandra Bullock? I'm Sandra Bullock. For fun. I, I kind of want to be Sandra Bullock, but I guess I'll be Keanu. That's fine. No, Chikios is Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't get it fucking twisted. <laughs> You're the big fucking Samoan in the back seat. Shut up. Oh, good point. Good point. <laughs> I want to be that guy anyway. <laughs> Harshnag is just gonna fucking swing his axe. He's just gonna keep like. It's gonna turn around and take a shot at that other, that other air elemental. None of us know what we're doing. I mean, this is in the middle of battle and nobody's really said anything to each other. It's just happening. 
Oh my god, we're in there. 23. That's gonna hit. That is a 25 on the next. That's 42 total points of damage. Uh, all right. 42 as he swings his axe back across. <laughs> swinging away, breaking pieces of that. It, it is very heavily armored. Air elemental. <clears throat> He's gonna remain engaged doing what he does best who's controlling that air elemental now when is it dante's turn century. too huh? mm. Same uh, uh, rolls uh, on my uh, turn the cultists were controlling it earlier yeah the cultists were controlling it earlier so i mean it's you have no idea right now it's just it's it's been placed complacent there mm -hmm. for a while mm. uh, that's a strategy so if we're moving uh if we're moving dante on your turn dante <laughs> is uh well harsh nag is swinging it's gonna come up and I, I can only imagine you know like a like a dog trying to get a, get your attention like trying to rub rub up on him our snag our snag you must go i'm gonna roll a persuasion check for little dante <laughs> one of the more really effective than you just character sheet <laughs> He could have just said beer. Could have just said beer. <laughs> beer. Uh, 19. Not too far off a of beer. Wow. It's effective. Dante Casper. It's close to just getting her done right there. Yeah. All right. The giant vulture is now just a part of Dominus's turn. <laughs> You're gonna see the vulture that dove down is gonna come back with two cultists riding on it. Ah, oh, come on. I thought I took care of <clears throat> And they're gonna pull up and fly next to Dominus. And they're going to hold there. How many times do I got to take them out? <laughs> All right. Sansuri's turn. Hmm. Sansuri is going to begin to kind of roll and fidget while she's in Chikios's mouth. Just enough to try to look and see what's going on around her and as she kind of rolls to her side <laughs> she misty steps ah. of course she does and you do not see where she misty steps to just yet she is not uh, in eyesight of anyone on the battlefield.
All right. That'll be the end of her turn. Back to Dominus while he's on the vulture. You can look back and you can see in the eyes of Dominus that there's unfinished business. And I shall not do an undone Mongdara. But he speaks giant too. Dominus looks back across the battlefield. You're prepared to die. Riding down on a tower in your own fate. He's just going to goad you. And they're going to fly back as a group. Back this way. gonna roll another perception check not seeing Sansuri he's going to reach down to the side of his vulture and into his pack and he's going to pull out a solitary javelin Dominus is going to throw a javelin into that atrium. Does he have to throw it through me? <laughs> Doesn't have to hit you. It's got a massive globe up top. Okay. That's going to be a 27 to hit. As that javelin hits, Ruby, you can see the electricity as it hits and ripple as that mass of crystals begins to grow and expand larger. And you can see the electricity ripple off of just where your hands are at at the front door. Emery, it is your turn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did we establish if Dante's gonna be able to carry Harshnag? We know that or not yet. I'm gonna rule it with him being in between. He's going to be able to. He's okay. just gonna be. He's gonna be at half speed. And Chikyo's his dragon can fly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, oh, Hister's running by. He asks for the ring of feather fall. I'm gonna uh, be a little bit confused, but um, you know he's obviously doing something. So, Emery's gonna take off the ring and chuck it at him. I don't know if that's a bonus action or action. Um, you could use a bonus action for it. Use a bonus. Okay, so I'm gonna use a bonus action to uh, to chuck him that ring. Uh. Let's see what my what's my throne. Am I rolling for uh, throwing a ring? Uh, just like you would uh, throwing a dagger, same thing. Mm. I don't. Uh, let me find it. Sorry, I don't know where my what my throwing is. It's 
Is it the same as an unarmed strike? No. I don't know, I can't. That's oh. your dexterity. Oh, it's my dexterity. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Oh, well, then that's gonna be great. Uh, 21. All right. Hister, go ahead and roll a, uh, for you, it would be to catch as athletics. Athletics? Okay. Mm. It's 26. Nice. 26, yeah, you snag that ring. <laughs> Snatch it up. So I'm gonna, I take that ring off and I'm gonna, as I'm turning around to look at Ruby, I'm gonna Derek Jeter. That ring, that ring to <laughs> side sidearm submarine throw. Jared, Derek Jeter, that is there. Look at Ruby and say, uh, and do I notice the crystal is like pulsating, throbbing with that hit? Oh yeah, you can see that lightning uh, javelin sticking out the side. Uh, Ruby, it's time to fucking go. God, we need the conch. Yeah, well, we're not gonna get it if we explode. <sighs> So I'm gonna motion to her uh, uh, to join me in uh, obviously jumping off this for another time. And so I'm gonna start making uh, making moves to do that, I guess. I'm not gonna... Featherfall is a reaction. Can I use it as an action as well or just a reaction? No, you can use it as a as a reaction, but not an action. No, I mean you can use it as an action if you want to. Uh, I mean, I've already used my bonus action, so oh, I guess that doesn't matter. That's a reaction, right? So I guess um, I'm actually gonna move towards the edge. I thought I was thinking bonus action reaction, the same thing for a second. I'm gonna move up towards the edge then, uh, kind of motioning to Ruby, toss that ring, yell at her, tell her we got a we got a GTFO. Um, while at the same time, um, casting one more ice storm at this group of vultures and riders and everybody trying to hit. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, let me pull up ice storm again. I can't remember what it, what the range is on it. Oh, what the, I know it's 20 foot radius, right? So. Yeah, if I fire that at his vulture, I'm going to hit pretty much every. I'm, so I'm firing it at at Dominus's vulture for the piercing damage. Uh, or for the uh, for the hit, um, I think. Well, hold on. God, I got to bring this thing up. There it is. Okay. Uh, 40 foot high cylinder, 20 foot radius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, for the for the bludgeoning damage, I'm I'm targeting. Oh, actually, the bludgeoning damage is on all of them. Okay, cool. So dexterity saving throw for everybody in that in that circle. All right here. So since they're on the vultures, it's the two vultures that get to roll on this. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna roll for the vulture that has. Two individuals on it. I'm gonna roll disadvantage on it. Okay. Since it's got extra weight on it, that's gonna be a ten. It will fail. Dominus's vulture. That's gonna be a seventeen. It will succeed. Mm. So, uh, da, 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 on a, mm. a creature takes three. They're still all gonna take damage on the fail as well, but. Um, the creature takes 2d8 bludgeoning damage, so... Um, 5 bludgeoning damage to the this is the fail, I guess half of that to Dominus's Vulture. Uh, and then... So 3 to Dominus's Vulture? Yeah. 5 to the other one. Mm -hmm. And then... And then 15 cold damage to the fail. And half that to any if I don't know if Dominus's vulture can be affected by cold, but I know Dominus can, but nope, they both cannot. Okay, so 15 cold damage to the uh, this other vulture. 
15 cold damage to the vulture and in the riders technically i guess because they're in the, mm -hmm. the sphere so these guys are all taking 20 plus as you run up to the edge emery once again bring your hands forward pulling in the elements and dropping down this ice storm on the outside you can see it pelt hitting the back of the heads of these vulture riders and tink, tink, tink. one of them you can see hits him so hard in the side ah! ends up going up and over nice they're looking very rough the uh the the, the blows that glance over at Domus, you can literally hear them hitting that vulture's bones and you can hear the hollow sound as they as they hit they just don't do any damage anything else for your turn nope that's it You can, the last thing that you see at the end of your term is just what looks like is a fire in Dominus's eyes. Ruby, it is your turn. Great. I'm waiting for this moment. <laughs> I am going to also run to the edge <sighs> just pissed though because we don't have the conch at this point so I'm going to go ahead and I will run let's see here I'm gonna run a little bit I'm gonna just take my full 60 run on mm -hmm. that move use my feline agility See it, Emery. I'm running past him. Like, where the, what the fuck are you waiting for? I'm busy casting Ice Storm at the time. And I cast. <laughs> are you? You're I just am. busy. You're I got busy. my hands up, like fucking Raiden, <laughs> calling down the lightning. Okay, way to be fancy. All right, yeah. I. I am going to. Cast Shatter at the third level on that crew out there. Yep, they're all within range. So they have to do a constitution saving throw. Dominus is an 18. Okay, he saves. It's Vulture. Uh, with with a save, they still take half as much, mm -hmm. half the damage. Is Vulture, Vulture's uh, got a 14? Fails. All right. Uh, other Vulture. Ooh, that's a five. That's bad. That's a fail. <laughs> that's a fail. That's it a fails. fail. Uh, oh my God, this, uh, this namesake dice. This thing's just destroying. That's a nine. It's another Thank fail. Namesake. Another fail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's a seven. Fail. Yes. Thank you. So everybody has max damage except for Dominus. Okay. Mm. All right. Let us Hit him hard. Do some damage. Mm. <clears throat> While you calculate damage, I'm gonna go pour myself uh, another beer. There you go. I might also go do that same thing. Go ahead. We'll, we'll hang out and keep everybody company. But with liquor. <laughs> <laughs> you act like you don't have the bottle sitting right there. I mean, if a bottle's not the right one, though. Jesus. <laughs> okay, I've got it. It's You've 23 got it? damage. Nice. 23 damage, which means what? Uh, 11 then for him. 11 for Dominus? Yes. Ooh, dude, those rough vulture riders, yeah. they might have a little bit of trouble staying alive. This is thunder damage. I don't know if that does anything extra. Ooh, I don't thunder. know. Thunder. Being a necro, I don't know what uh, what what his, uh, what kicks his ass. We, we definitely know that uh, Cole doesn't do a lot. Of no, but I'm hoping, God, this electricity will get them. 
Shock the shit out of him. Why the hell not? Yeah, just lightning oh. falls. Lightning falls. Does lightning fall? <laughs> just lightning strikes. Sorry. Strikes from the sky. I like they falls. Fall falls lightning strikes. Better. You're good. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay. What did I say? 23. That's right. Don't let me forget. Oh. Numbers do not stick in my brain. Bonus organic, so they're good. Okay. Can you burn a pineapple? Oh. Well, I mentioned the outside burns real nice, but if you yeah. trim off the outside first and then try to burn the actual fruit, that might be a little harder because it's really wet. I wonder if that would give you a nice heated pineapple on the inside. Mm. Oh, that actually sounds really good. Hot, I'd hot try it. Pineapple. Yeah. Well, okay. Have you never had like grilled pineapple? Grilled pineapple is fantastic. Well, I like to char on pineapple, but when you mm -hmm. put pineal, like pineapple on pizza, where it's just like warm chunks of pineapple. I love that's it. When the, that's when the sacrilege begins. I love it. It's fantastic. Like you, you gotta caramelize it, man. Yeah, you need to caramelize the sugars within that to increase the flavor if you're going to have it hot. I don't know if you can burn a mango. The outside would be really hard to burn. Again, you can char the shit out of it. Yeah. Hot grill, dump it on there. Jalapeno, pepperoni. Pineapple's not bad. Ooh, that sounds like blood farts. It mm. kind of is, but you know. <laughs> what did I? Uh, what did I miss? Everything. So only everything. The sequel. All right. <laughs> the, the, burn. the sequel. <laughs> what did I? What right. did I read so, here? So what? What it was? It was what? Twenty-three thunder. Twenty-three damage? thunder damage, and so Dominus gets half of that. Solid. Thunder. Lightning comes down. The thunder from down under. You can't get away from us. We're not afraid. <laughs> You've sent one of the cultists with that thunder damage. It's like, just explodes out. You can actually see all the bones in Dominus's vulture kind of expand out as the wave goes through, as it reforms itself. Oh, just kind of pulls back on the reins a little bit. As a, uh, as I'm casting Ice Storm, at basically at the same time, and her like thunder wave happens and like the big sound, I kind of like double check my hands. You know, like doesn't normally happen when I cast Ice Storm, and there's a big thunderclap. So I'm just like, <laughs> I look back. That's how you do damage. That the other vultures looking on death's door. Damn. Damn. I literally Damn it. points away. Damn it. Mm. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Just mm. die already. <laughs> Anything else for your Damn. turn, Ruby? That's all. I can't run any further. Can't mm. cast anything else said all I've got to say. Kissed her. Oh, man. As he catches that perfect Tom Brady pass of a mm -hmm. ring from Emery, slips it on his finger. He looks up just in time to see <sighs> Countess disappear from Chikios' grasp. He looks down at the stairs looks at Chikios and looks at his friends. Chikios, pick us up. We got to get the fuck off this tower. He's going to run here to pick up his sword. Mm. For the first part of his movement and then use whatever is mm -hmm. left to get in line with his friends. You better get us off this fucking tower before it blows up or we're all gonna die, Chikios. Great sword right. in hand. Look at it, tug it back in his pack. Wait for the fucking cavalry.
Alright, Chikyo's Dragon. Next time I'll be a dra I'll go full dragon dog. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to fly over to where you guys are at. I can carry three. So just his tour then, right? Just <laughs> <laughs> head, head head on head combat. Come on. Mm. I'm not normally this fat. It's the holidays. Come on. I get an extra 10 to 30 thousand pounds it's the camera it's the camera <laughs> no, not the camera i'm fat what can I say? <laughs> he's a thick boy <laughs> there we go now i'm more happy yeah. i'm more yep. sized <laughs> if we're on top of chikios does combat continue uh why not well you can throw shots from them you got ranged combat i just wondering oh yeah you're on you're on Man. a dragon, bitch. Mm. Suck it up and throw fireball. Fireball, fireball, fireball. God, if only I had fireball. <laughs> Instead of fucking everything being ice. <laughs> uh. <sighs> so, we are prepared to leave without the conch? No. <laughs> <sighs> Radio, you have a 1d8 inspiration. Becky, you haven't Thank used you. yours yet, have you? Nope. Mm -hmm. Still got that inspo. God, I need that something fierce. Mm. Harshnag is gonna look over at Dante. <laughs> He's gonna take a final swing at that error mental and just crush it. DTD just goes straight for its head. He's <laughs> had to. It's, he can't help himself. It's, He's driven. <sighs> Oh, we, we haven't got what we came here for. He's going to be very hesitant of being drug off. And probably won't leave until he's forced to. This shit is going to explode. You can't stay on here. I don't know if that's persuasive or not. <laughs> I don't know. Imminent explosion of what I'm standing on is pretty persuasive I'll, uh, to me. I'll give, I'll give you advantage if you're trying to actually persuade him. I don't need advantage. <laughs> I said as Aaron will get little do it anyways. Yeah. What well, she said, boom. Can I can I throw some weight behind that too? God damn it, guys, I'm good at this. I don't need your help. I'm the bard. Persuasion is my thing. The cultists are gonna look over at Dominus. Dominus raises his trident up and points it over to the rest of the group that's on the dragon. Big old target. And they swing down, picking up the one cultist that was locked into gliding. And they begin to head straight forward towards Emery and Ruby. And just before they get to the outer edge, mm -hmm. 
a barrier begins to go up and over the tower <laughs> as it ripples and makes its way completely over they lock into a force field and stop I need no one here. No one here has any eyeballs to wear. So no, I'm not going to have any rolls. You don't know where Sansuri is. Mm -mm. Dominus's turn. He's going to fly up. To the edge of the force field, just so he can get close enough where you can you can see Hester. And he's gonna reach down into a side satchel. And he's gonna pull out a chain. And on this chain, as he drops it down out of his hand, you're gonna see one, Two, three, four, four fingers with golden scales and a small eyeball at the bottom. And he's going to swing it back and forth three times and he's going to pull it back in into his pouch and for a brief moment as you look at that totem You can see the soul of Tormund. In an astral projection before it drifts away. And he's gonna pull back the reins and begin to fly away. Ruby flips her head around and just stares at his store. Chikios just kind of lays his head into, into the force field just teeth full blared just kind of presses into it snorts and gets that good fog effect emery it is your turn um okay uh so we can't get out then right 
you have no idea. Okay. Um... Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Have I used the hero point? No, I don't believe so. How much could a hero point increase the effects of a spell? All depends on what you want to do. I, I, well, I want to use Dimension Door to go through this shield, but I can only take one person. If this crystal is about to explode behind us, then we're trapped. Don't worry about Dante and Harshnag. Dimension oh, Dimension Door will not be able to pull that entire group through. It will not be able to pull Chikios through. At best, it can pull two other people with you. Because you're a weak ass hero. So myself plus two people. Yeah, I would essentially I would give you a, a second person. Okay. God, no, I remember, wish I knew what, what people still had and what they didn't still have. Because I know some people have fucking Misty Step and shit. <laughs> shit. Uh, I mean, I have one of those abilities, but I have to turn. Uh, I, I have to turn back. I know. I can't use this as a dragon. I know. I mean, you also can't seem to go through this thing as a dragon right now, so. As a dragon, are you able to fit down that staircase? Yes, because it's a giant staircase. I can. Okay. How big was the explosion last time from the, from the, you guys remember? Massive. Crater. And there's like multiple crystals? Yeah. Well, I only, uh, I broke off one, but I imagine as that one grew, it may have cracked others. So it got worse. I made a poor choice. What, what would you like to do? I don't, I don't know. Could, could make a big decision. Oh, well, I mean, I don't want to get exploded by a crystal, but I can't take everyone with me. And when... choose your favorites, I can't take Chikios. He's a dragon. <laughs> uh, and I can't take Art. You know, the other guys are even near me. Cut Wait, the uh, wire. If you take Chikios. Or you just take you and Ruby. You know I've missed you step before. That's I know, not, but I. But but then you leave Cheeky out, Harshnag, and Dante to die in the fucking explosions. Cheeky Ch can can travel through dimensional That's, borders. We have less than a minute before this thing explodes, right? Yeah, probably. You have no idea. It, it's fucking growing, and he just threw a fucking goddamn lightning rod into it. Yeah, so bas basically, Emery's thinking, this thing looks like it's about to explode again behind us. We have a force field that we can't get through. I can only, with a hero point, bring two people with me. We also don't know where Sanseri is. Mm -hmm. Of similar size, pretty much. So, I mean, really, I don't know if I feel like I have a choice but to grab... 
Sister and Ruby and, and Dimension Door outside of the force field. Hold on, it, hold on. So you're you're obviously trying to survey and see your surroundings. Use your bonus action for a perception check. Alright. Seventeen. Seventeen. When you look back at that pile of crystals to try to determine, is this thing gonna blow now? Do we have five minutes? Do we have two minutes? You look back and you can see what looks like the wisps of Sansiri's hair. And as you look back, you can see the front set of crystals being absorbed into her body. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fantastic, then. That changes everything. Oh, we definitely need to get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather deal with the explosion. <laughs> it was better when it was about to die. <laughs> All right, so if, if if I look at that, how big is Sansuri? Is she is she? Now she's gargantuan. All right. Yeah. Shit me, dude. Uh. She looks like someone who's slapping a lot of bass. It survived, son of a bitch. Well, she's doing it. Let's see how long she can survive with that. So I'm gonna look around and instinct is to is cast Dimension Door, but I see Sansuri absorbing the crystals. So I guess that's gonna make me uh, second guess that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Reduce again on her, seeing that she's fucking huge. All right, what's kind of save is that? Constitution. It's probably oh, not gonna be yeah, it's not going to be pretty. I don't. I don't have. I don't really have a lot of other options of what I was. That do. is a thirty-four. Yeah, that's going to fail, <laughs> or that's going to succeed. Sorry, <laughs> fail on my end. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, try to cast that, and, and then uh, realizing that that didn't work, I'm just going to tap Pister on the shoulder. Until he looks behind us. <laughs> oh shit! All right, I guess I mm. guess that'll be it. Just chill on the back of Chikios here. Ruby. Perfect. Did you hit me as well, Emery, to get my attention mm -hmm. towards this? Uh, no, I mean, I just hit it. I just hit Hister. I don't really? know. I'm turned around one way. I'm just like. Okay, well, I'm noticing because I was staring at Hister, so I see that at least. Since I was watching Hister. Uh, do I perceive anything different with Sansuri? Same shit. Uh, you can see that she is. Definitely contains a strong, strong energy within her body now and it has been enlarged several times size as it appears that her course of action to save face has been to absorb as much of that energy as possible. I whispered to his store, you better go get that child now. <laughs> go, go, don't get the baby! Get the baby! Go get the baby! Don't get the baby! Go 
Who am I, Joe Pesci all of a sudden? Yes. What the fuck? Uh, you want me to go get the baby? I don't handle kids well. Dude. That's your job. Not that you handled them well either, apparently. I don't even know what what meme that I saw, but it was definitely like casino where they're holding Joe Pesci up, like making him watch. And it was something about like server migration. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> it was like on the fifth day. That was the end of casino. <laughs> so good. I'm all, I'm also like, yeah, we could use a baby. <laughs> Okay. So I can't believe I'm doing I am robot. Oh, am I better now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to attack her with Eldridge Black through that frickin' door. Pop the balloon. Um, oh. Mm -hmm. really quick, sniper. So, even though if, if she's hard to see mm. through the door for whatever reason, I should still be good. What would you roll to attack? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's see. A million. A million. Oh, that'd be really nice, huh? Um, okay. Let's find out how this shit is going to go down. Okay, that is going to be a 19. 19. For the first one. 19 will hit. Okay. Cool. There's going to be eight points of damage. Do you want me to just roll for all the other two and add the damage together if I get No, that? you have to, yeah, you just gotta roll all of them to attack and then yeah. give me the I damage. I know if you wanted me to roll both of them first and then add whatever we got at the end instead of individual numbers. All right, the next one is going to be 25. 25 will hit. The third one will be a 26, so that that'll hit. Both of those together. Okay. 14 points of damage on both of those two together. 14 damage. All right. Mm -hmm. So what, 21 total? Sansuri, just give us the conch and we'll get out of here. We'll destroy everything you've had if you don't. I'm trying my best. Do I roll for intimidation again <laughs> against this gargantuan giant? Go ahead, humor me. Okay, cool. Intimidation. <laughs> okay, well, that is going to be a 24. <laughs> 24. Hey. How do you know when to say it? I don't think she's listening to you. Well, then you don't know the outcome. Hey, yeah, you, so that's why I said, I think. <laughs> if anything, she's incredibly consistent. Hmm. She can read my confidence. Uh, and, I, I, and something that's obviously not scared or intimidated by you, it's more of a showing that I'm not backing down. Mm -hmm. Not so much you trying to persuade them, it's showing that like, I'm not going anywhere either. This fight is going all out. Bring it. All right. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hisser <laughs> Faust. Slightly shaken after what he just saw. Totem of his son, his eldest with what appeared to be fingers from his second born and his eyeball and his ghost. It's gonna turn to see a giant fucking sensory and a crystal. It's a bad day for Hister. This is a fucking bad day for Hister Faust. 
at this point he really wishes he went down the staircase but now that they can't get out that's exactly what he's gonna fucking do he's going to hope that when she stepped she didn't step and go get her fucking kids and make his way with the dash action down the stairs that give me an additional 20 feet at the bottom <laughs> Which will drop me. Let's see, we're on the same map now, so I know where I'm gonna come out. Burr. Let me get way there. over here. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. There we go. I know where I'm. I know where I'm going now. I can't believe I'm fucking doing this bullshit. Ugh. Oh, fuck this fight. <laughs> All right, there we go. You're boogieing. Mm, great. Not boogieing, but doing what was the first fucking action that came to his mind. Oh, man. As he's downstairs, he's going <laughs> to pop on his mic and go. She didn't give a fuck about little Bobby. But we'll see if Alistrod can change her mind. Wanna try and bring her up? Don't fucking die till I get back. You can kill Bobby if you want to. Question. How hurt are you running to go do this, sister? I'm alright. I'm, I'm hurt, but I'm not fucking dead. When I get a bonus action, I'll use the fucking spell. Right now, I'm using every fucking piece of shit I've got right now. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Ooh. I don't have. I, I used an action. I don't have a bonus action. I can use it, uh, my bonus action to down this fucking. What is it? I got a healing potion. Yeah. Since you have no support, you're on an island, bro. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna down a healing mm -mm. potion. What's 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 the healing on a healing potion? Because I just have healing potion in my fucking stack. Two D four. Two D four? Alright, that's a, that's exactly what we'll roll then. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Take my six all the way to the bank. <laughs> you can take so much damage. Uh, and now, by the way, it's 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Ooh, that's an 8. 8. It's better than 6. That puts me in a lot better situation, if you know what I'm talking about. You can survive an attack from a bard. Uh, Emery, you still look pretty fucked up. How are you, Ruby, on health? I'm okay. Like, on the better side of okay, but not. Ooh, cool. If that's a scale you understood. <laughs> a scale of Absolutely. Ooh. That made mathematical sense. <laughs> Fuck. <It's> code. <laughs> My life. Uh, motherfucker. Uh, I got plenty of spells. Yeah, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my bombs of the summer court. Uh, Ruby, I'm gonna toss you. Uh, I'm gonna toss you one. Full, you got six points. Ooh, thank you. I'm gonna toss three of them over to Emery's way. Ten. Ooh, that's nice. Fifteen points for you. Nice. Oh, I'm, I have to drop my, at this point, seeing this, I have dropped my, I'm dropping my Fey Dragon form. Hmm. Are they, are, are we just sitting on your shoulders now? It's a, it's a slow, like, gradual slide off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Malaka! I, I have to, I have to have, I have to have healing up. Uh, 
What are we doing? Uh, I'm going to... Like, run over here and tuck back behind this bad boy. Just to give myself a little partial cover. Those are all bonus actions. God, I wish it was high enough level where I could cast some spells while I was a fucking creature, but I can't. Not yet. Not yet, Guardian. Um... So... I'm going to I'm going to cast Conjure Woodland Beings again at the third level And I'm going to put Ramus and Remus here on either side of Chikios or either side of Ruby and Emery. Emery looks different than, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shithead. And they are going to root themselves into the ground and partially turn into trees. They now have a 10 foot radius. When you go within that radius, it is like casting cure wounds at the first level as you dip through. So at the start of our turn, we get to roll a basic cure wounds. Mm -hmm. Harshnag's gonna look back at the group. <clears throat> what is everyone standing around for? <clears throat> Big boy's gonna go. Shit. Mm -mm. Harshnag is gonna go and make an athletics check, try to get up on top of this thing. That's a 12. He's gonna bust his way with his ax. You can see each time that he hits it, just a little bit of electrocution is going through his body as he's fucking scaling this thing. Uh <laughs> He's going to end up taking 10 points of lightning damage by the time he gets up to the top. He's going to take one swing, try to crack this fucking atrium where the javelin went in. All right. That's a 19. He's going to be able to carve out a spot it's gonna go <laughs> try to take a swing at her mm. a nice forehead cut mm. nat one. Oh no <laughs> fucking harsh nag you well mm. it was really nice knowing him. mama <sighs> tried mama tried Harshnag is going to take a swing and he's going to go in. End over end. End over end, prone. <sighs> Shit. Bad energy. The rest of the vulture riders are going to disappear. 
out into the clouds. Before Sand Series turn, if you need to go take a restroom break and grab a beverage, now would be the time. Did you say she, so was she, uh, he was taking lightning damage there? He took lightning damage getting up over like the from top. from her or from the crystals? Uh, it appears to be from the javelin that was thrown. Oh, from the javelin itself? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, I got you guys fucking good. Yeah. Dude, we were ready to fucking jump off the tower and all of a sudden the fucking shield went up. The bait, the bait was strong. The bait was strong. Ah, should have fucking done what I had originally planned to do. Those are in DM terms, what I put when you don't make a clear cut decision when you have Advantage and then you don't It's amazing that she only needed that much of a fucking gap to beat Chikios's fucking grapple Well, the spell can beat the grapple. She could have beat it the first time She waited she watched you She's a lot smarter than I think we were giving her credit for it's one of the smartest, think, smartest villains that you've seen. Hands down. I, I think this group has underestimated, underestimated her multiple times Ooh. in what she can do because she's so flippant about it. And they think that's her weakness. They're wrong. Mm. She's not flippant about it. She's confident because she knows she's holding all the fucking cards. Very confident. I would say your assessment is quite right. But that's that's looking at it not from the battlefield. Mm -hmm. That's looking at it from 10,000 feet. <laughs> the hardest thing is playing this situation from the fucking battlefield and not looking at 10,000 feet. But not, com but not ignoring what you see when it's, it comes to signals. It's combination. It's a good blend of both. Mm. Damn. And I thought Yon C. Ben was going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, Yon C. Ben's going to be your fucking nightmare. Oh, he is. He's become the boogeyman for this <laughs> campaign. From the very fucking beginning, from the first time he was <laughs> summoned, it's almost killing Hister. Taking Hister's son, taking Nighthawk. Oh. There's no doubt. The tree whoever said that whoever said Yancy Ben was a bitch. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. He's just a lower level deity. Blah blah blah. Fuck you. You don't know this storytelling. <laughs> Sometimes they rise up to be more. Ugh. All right. Bring it on. A beat Yancy Ben. I'm gonna tattoo his shit right here. Rip Yancy Ben in the date. How? What's the condition of uh, Harshnag? Uh, 30, 37 of two hundred and four is uh, how much damage he's taken. So he's got. He's got. He has health. Prone heart. I, I thought you said that he uh, slumped over. Mm -mm. No, he's, he just went down prone. He's just prone. Oh, prone. Okay, he's just thought, he's just prone. Unconscious. No, no, no. No, he'll have to pick himself up. <laughs> you mean Sansuri won't help him up? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not to, not to say she's a not above just looking at him while he tries to oh. clamp. 
Dog. Mm -mm. Poop. <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect, perfect time for a story while Mud's out. Uh, <laughs> about once a year, I'm bombarded by a by a homeless turding of the back door of my bar. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it, it just right before the end of the year, I got it. I got it. It, it, it the run, the run by pooper got me. There it was, <laughs> over, over in the corner by one of my, uh, one of my rat traps. The best oh part God. was the sock was there that they used. I have a picture. Uh, I sure sent it to Tyson everyone. Who's doing that year after year? <laughs> What's wrong with people? It's, uh, it's, mental it's health. Tyson, Chad, or Mike. One of the three of those guys have got it in for mm -hmm. you. Oh, it's a pile. <laughs> he must have had beats last uh, yeah. night. I can tell that's a pile. <laughs> they came prepared. Oh my god. Uh. All right. Let's hear what right. Sansuri's got to say. This bitch. <laughs> And you come into my house and you cause this kind of disturbance. <sighs> she begins to place her hands on top of that orb that she's below and you can feel your feet begin to tremble. And I will take you all to hell myself. As you begin to feel this castle go into motion. And as it does, she begins to pick and lift. Ooh, and you can feel it tilting as this thing is all the way up on its side I need a dexterity saving throw from everyone uh -uh. 21 18 for cheeky baby a world for a little Dante Dante's got an add 20 nice All right. 19 for hister 27. All right. As we all slide back, everybody except for Ramos and Remus goes back into the edge. This lip. <sighs> Go ahead and clear these guys out. Wham. Slamming their backs against as this whole castle tilts. With harsh nag on the ground. You can see one of her fists is gonna come up and she's gonna try to go and just smash him into the ground. She will have a nut shot. advantage on a harsh nag nut shot. <laughs> <laughs> Pouch him. Pouch him. Yeah, that's 24. That's gonna hit. <laughs> She's gonna do 26 points of bludgeoning damage. I hope he didn't want kids. <laughs> um, hopefully not. All right. <laughs> With her other hand, she's gonna raise forward and you can see just the static electricity as her cloud-like hair gets lifted up and sucked out twice. She's going to extend one of her hands out as lightning shoots out and it hits that force field around the castle and begins to charge it with energy. I need you to make another constitution saving throw for being next to that force field. Not me though, because I'm downstairs, right? 
uh you still need to make that uh well you're, you're yeah you're fine on that you're just gonna be like slammed up against the uh the, uh, the I, side I've, of the I've, wall I've, I've already done it i've already moved my character back to the the, the closest wall i was to perfect 30 20. 18. Eighteen. Uh Chikios is a five. He's gonna fail. Uh eighteen for Dante with his. He'll succeed. The rest of you guys take eight points of lightning damage. Chikios will take sixteen. Uh oh. I am down to twenty-two. You should have healed yourself, bro. I got Come I on. got I got I got spells. I got I got tricks. I got tricks. You got time mm -hmm. to spend them. <laughs> so Dominus, it'll be Emery's turn. I will <clears throat> use a mm -hmm, bonus action, I believe. First. <laughs> Oh, actually, it doesn't require any sort of action at all. Hmm. Here, I will use my last sorcery point uh, for elemental affinity to gain resistance to lightning damage due to my draconic ancestry. Uh, and then I will look at... I'll look at Ruby and Chikios, and I will say... This, uh, this this doesn't look good. If Hister doesn't make it back, I can get you both out of here. I, I can't help Parshnag or, or anyone else, but I can get you two out of here if we need. We'll I can be take fine. Two people. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that to them. I'm going to hold my action uh, for Dimension Door based on their response and based on what happens next round, like if, if we're taking crazy damage. Right. Holding it specifically for dire circumstances. All right. End of your turn, Ruby. Mhm. Mm I'm going straight Eldridge Blast again. It's <laughs> the way to do it. Okay, that first one's 19. Another hit. Uh, why can't I math? Uh, 24. Uh, 16. Uh, 16 does not hit. Okay, so just the two. Thirteen points of damage. I'm just gonna chip away. Uh, you extend your little cat paws out. Uh, anything else for your turn? I'd like to move back up into this space so I can get some of that healing that's going on, right? Mm-hmm. All cool. right. I do that. Uh, go ahead yeah. and uh, roll yourself a 1d8 plus two. That is a four. I will take it. Thank you. Mm. Okay. There we go. Mm -mm. I'm still here, Stan. Sorry. And I'll end my turn. End of your turn. In C. In C. All the way back down this way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hister running down the stairs, and as soon as he gets down there, feeling the entire castle tilt, smashing him up against oh. the wall. Dude, that would literally be the worst feeling on the fucking planet. 
not knowing what the fuck is going on because he can't i mean he has a little view of what's going on but he can't see what's happening above him but he knows that at this point he's got a path and he's got a destination smashed up against the wall gets up brushes himself off and uses every ounce of his fucking action to dash are you using a hero point to double dash i don't have a double dash i don't need a double dash so i'll use my i'll use dash here get myself oh come here this one select thank you and then from here i'm going to burn an action surge so i don't have to use a hero point i've got an action surge sitting in my fucking bank Helpful, helpful. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna click that off right now so I make sure that goes away. Thank you. Thank you, chat. So that gives me another dash. So I will move. That's come here. Come here, no snapping. I want to make sure I can pull this shit together. Oh my god, these fucking giant halls are ridiculous. <laughs> Let's call it 15. Fuck with me now. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch, man. That just... That is just the goddamn dis of movement. I hate giant homes. All right. <laughs> There goes Hester. He's he knows where he needs to go. Being slammed around, he's he's making his moves towards where uh, he remembers Bobby and uh, Alistair were. That'll end his turn. All right. Oh man! God damn it! Fuck you. <laughs> can I can I use a bone ash, bonus action for mm -hmm. a spell? Nope. Not off what you just accidentally saw. <laughs> mm -mm. God damn you anyways. All right. It's not his fault you actually showed him. <laughs> I missed it. All right. Chikios' turn. I'm going to run up and I'm going to hug a fucking tree hard. <laughs> You're going to hug the tree hard or your hard while you hug the tree? I mean, yes. take it, take it however you want. Semen on a beam. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> or he, you know, whatever. Yep. Hey, whatever you're into, man. Tapioca. All right. That's going to bring me up to a 31. I'm going to look back at the rest of the group. When we are able to get out of here, we can win walk again. Actually, hold on. That's not true. <laughs> Give us false hope. I can because no 
I have to take back seat because this is a one minute casting time. So I can, I made the mistake the last time when I used it, it has a one minute. So we have to like, if we're in combat, uh, yeah, that's, that's not possible. Um, how's everybody else doing vicinity health wise? Cool. Tight. Sweet. I'm doing all right. Like half health, but. I'm going to hold my action in case anybody takes massive damage. Harshnig is going to stand up. This ends here now, Sensory. I will not leave until I have the cunts of teleportation. Twenty six for his first hit. Harsh connect. Harshneg is going to go and use a great reckless weapon master attack on his second. That's good because the first one was a five. That's 17. <laughs> so by being reckless and, and swinging, he gets advantage against him the next time someone attacks, but he gets advantage on this round. So he's going to do 36. Sixty two points. Oof. Good shot. Damn. She's gargantuan. We're going to have to. That's a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> fucking great. <laughs> Deuce Bigelow, male Jiggle. <laughs> Somebody say steak. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say steak? That's dude. He's nice. going. He's going in hard. He only has fucking. He's the only got one speed. Ham. Say something real terrible there. <laughs> Doesn't stop the rest of us. <laughs> End of his turn. The rest of the glass of that atrium is just gonna shatter. As she explodes out this bitch, true Final Fantasy style fucking villain. Sansuri is going to begin to cast a spell. If anyone is counterspelling, this is your time to tell me if you do so. Can't, yeah, counterspell. All right. Drop my held if, action to counterspell. If you want to try to determine what she's casting, you need to make an arcana check now. Okay. 15. 15. All right. It looks like she's casting something lightning in nature. Okay. I, uh, yeah. Counterspell uh, at the third level is all I can do. Counterspell at the third level. All right. This one, uh, per, per the new rules for counterspell, I'm gonna read them off for chat. So. Instead of setting a DC, the counterspell caster must contest the original caster, each using their spell ability modifier. 
If one of them is using a higher spell slot than the other, they get a plus two. So I'm casting lightning bolt at the fourth level. I have a plus two. Now, you are not using your spell casting ability plus your modifier. It's just your spell class ability. So this, what do you use to cast spells? Uh, my spell attack, is that what you're asking? Now, what, what's your ability that you use to cast with? Uh, I guess it would be, I'm trying to look. My spell attack is a plus seven on everything, so I don't know. From my dex, maybe? <laughs> No, you don't cast from your no, dex. No, no. You're putting me in dex. I have no idea, honestly, what I'm casting from. What, what are your classes? Sorcerer it would be my my. A sorcerer, class. it's charisma. You cast from charisma. Oh, okay. That makes sense. My modifiers are plus three. Good yeah. Call. Okay. So, you're 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 going to roll and get a plus three. Yeah. All right. So I have a spell casting modifier of, let's see here. I also have a plus three. Plus your plus two. Plus my plus two. So I will public roll. I have a plus five. You have a plus three. Let's go. Who rolls first? Same time, baby. Three, two. One. Oh, 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 23. 22. No fucking oh. way. I was feeling so good about that, dude. I rolled a 19. God damn it. I was like, I, got, I, was like, I got this shit. Can you add inspiration to that? Oh, wait, you don't have it anyway. <laughs> oh! Actually, I do. I do have inspiration. I have a D6, but I feel like I already know the outcome now, so. Yeah. You can't use inspiration, but you could use a some sort of reroll. Yeah, do you have I, I might have level? luck. Or lucky. I don't know if that would count. But I mean, you'll have to roll a nat 20 to, to, to beat it. I mean, I lost, right? So. I've got three luckies, yeah. I know what Yeah, I got three. I'll be. Yeah, you want to use not. one? Smoke them okay. if you got them. 21. God damn it. Oh! <laughs> she pulls back in and casts lightning bolt from the sky. I need. Oh my god. Yeah, that's uh everybody's to make a dexterity saving throw. At least it's dex for you guys. You're one of the few parties that has dexterity. 24. 24, and you will succeed. To lightning. Sorry. 30 20. <laughs> oh yeah, what do you get? What do you have resistance to, to lightning for now? You're uh I, I use my elemental effect. Oh, that's to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, draconic ancestry of that blue dragon. Yeah. I haven't had to use it yet. For for it's for one hour. BT dubs. Counting down the minutes. Depending on how long this fight goes. I know, right? <laughs> One hour, six seconds at a time. All right. Well, what everybody else roll? 20, 30, 20. 30, 20, you'll succeed. Yep. You don't need for me and up top. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, Cheeky has got to roll. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Cheeky, baby. Come on. 18. That's a 19 for me. We all succeed. Uh, do we take. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we take half. 
That's going to be 9d6. Oh. All right. Half is 9d6 or full is 9d6? Full is 9d6. Oh. We're going to take half of that. So it's 32 <laughs> points. We take uh, 16. 16 points of lightning damage. Yours will be eight, Emery. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that still like... fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. I thought you were about to say that 18 <laughs> dice was the was the full damage. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we're dead. Fuck, I'm bound to I'm back down to 16. Hug a tree. No, I'm He's still hugging a tree. Fucking hugging that tree, dude. Uh All right, end end of uh, end of the turn, Emery. It's your turn, then Ruby, then Hister. I'm gonna I'm gonna run back up to this tree to get some healing, which is how much? One d eight plus two. One d eight plus two. Eight. Let's go. Um. I will, uh, I will again hold my action for Dimension Door with the hero to bring two people with me. <laughs> or wait for a reaction on a counter spell. One of the two. But. Yeah. Reactions are reactions. You don't have I'm to hold Dimension Door. Hold them. Uh, again. All right. Keep holding that Dimension Door. Oh, shit. Uh,. Dante, Dante has a turn. Uh, da Dante's missed his turn uh, a couple of times now. We'll double up on that real quick. That's fair. I forget because we've never actually fought with Dante before. Uh, I imagine you're gonna want to go send Dante with his fire breath. Might as well. I mean, he's a pissed off young little <laughs> red dragon. So I mean, yeah. Have him fly up over it, since the <laughs> ceiling's now gone. <laughs> Dante. <laughs> he's gonna open his maul and unleash his fire breath on the sand surrey. She's got to make a dexterity saving throw. Good news. She's got to do that with disadvantage because she's not going anywhere. Nice. Uh, there we go. Take That's a half step to the right. <laughs> well, I mean, if she succeeds, yeah, then that's what that's that's thematically what it is. But she does not because that is a nine. She will fail. And be set ablaze. She's gonna take 24 points of fire damage. Damn. Burn. Ah! 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 My! My hair! You don't pay for this, you little shit! Ah! I'll turn you into a rug! Ruby Shore, it is your turn. Yeah, it is. Okay, can I get my health first? Get it, roll 1d8 plus two. Okay, that's seven, eight, nine. Okay, I need a design. Heal. Okay, cool. I'm going to Aldridge Blast again. <laughs> Get her. Because why not? Okay, that's a nat 20 for that first one. Oh, what? Get those nat 20s Tasty. in the chat. So, I'll remember to double that one <laughs> die. And then let's see how the others do. The other one, that one's going to be an 18. 
And then that one is a team Dean hits, right? Four for the third one. I'm sorry you broke up. Uh, 17 for the middle one, 24 for the last one. 17 does not hit. Okay. All right, let's see what this double damage. Okay, that is going to be seven. So 14 points of damage for that first one. And then for my third one, four more points. So 17 total. All right. Ooh. Another 17 right. on. Thank you. I am going to move over there. Yeah, I'm just going to move a little bit out of the way. There we go. So it's not a straight shot, and I'm not over in this middle section. So we're mm -hmm. all clustered together. Oh. Pistol Faust. There we are. Now, let's see. This room is just about the distance of my dash. <laughs> so solid. My my uh my entire turn will be moving across this room. <laughs> Hold on. You're gonna have to be the most frustrating thing in the world. Oh dude, this is <laughs> you have no idea how frustrating this is for me. Uh, All right. I just want to make sure hitter. that in my bonus shit, I'm not missing anything. Actions, bonus actions. I'll take you 35 feet to get this child. Uh, did you fucking tell me about it? it was... I hope Harshnag <laughs> realizes that you're not up there with. All right, there we go. That's it. All right, so you're going to get up just close enough to pull that door open. Well, the door is not really open. We kind of left it. Oh, no. The, oh, oh that, I forgot. That's right. You fucked that door up, didn't you? Yeah, that, door's, yeah. that door's fucked up. So, I mean, it's just, it's, I can, I can walk that, right through it like a fucking cheap. That's right. We did kind of put it back in place, though, didn't we? Like, after yeah, we I mean, left. We, we literally just pulled it back and just kind of left it the way it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like leaning. <laughs> well, the, we, we fucked the door up, but yeah. it, it, there's mm -hmm. still a door to open and close. Mm hmm. Ish. Hister, as you make your last mad dash down this fucking endless giant hallway, just completely wearing your sack out. <laughs> <laughs> Good you make it all the way to the nursery and when you do you stare through that door and you see the body of another cloud giant that you haven't yet seen Son of a bitch. <laughs> Look, this... We didn't kill every fucking person in this castle already. We looked everywhere. Oh, when, God, you, when you... When you get to that door, the smell of patchouli oil is so strong that I need you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Oh that's gosh. that's royal right there. That is going to be a dirty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a dirty twenty, all right. That's beautiful. <laughs> no. Hey man, how are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here, little fella? Get some good looking armor there. 
<laughs> in response, I'm gonna speak to him in Draconic. Gotta stomp these down. Go out the scar. Go out the movie. Go out the foot. I can't get na. Oh fuck. <laughs> My mouth is really dry. Where, Bobby? Bobby, where are you? Alistar. Alist oh, my. <laughs> Hear, hearing him, hearing him shout for Bobby, I'm, I'm going to drop my bit and <laughs> talk to him in my regular voice in comments so he can understand me. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I I I I I was uh I I I didn't know uh, I didn't know you spoke common. Um, Bobby was downstairs to go find some food. I'm looking for his sister. Uh, are you okay? Because this place has been this place has been shaking around pretty crazy. Uh, I thought it was just my head. I've been in a greenhouse. For a while. Cool. You said Bobby went to go get food? <laughs> oh yeah, the uh the cook has been working on something uh new. I, I came up from there earlier and uh he uh oh. he was working on some, some new dishes with some spices. I heard there was there was <sighs> sugar and chocolate. <laughs> He grabs you by the collar and picks you up about four <laughs> feet up off the ground. <laughs> what? We should go get it now. It's probably ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, I need to find Alistra because Sansuri needs her up top. She's right here. As he points, she's still playing in the corner with her dolls. Uninterrupted, like this bitch has been turned on its side 45 times before. Nothing <laughs> new here. <laughs> Typical day in a flying castle. Alistra, can you come with me upstairs while uh, he goes downstairs and gets some food? Countess Sansuri would like to see you. I don't want to see Mama. Why? Why do I have to go and do it? Mama is in a mood right now and she really needs your help. Fine. You're gonna interrupt. She rolls your eyes, or rolls her eyes. I want you to roll a uh, persuasion check. You're gonna be real great at this. Yep, that, that's gonna be a 23. I roll a patience check. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's gonna look uh look look back over you and put her put her hands on her uh on her hips fine and she begins walking to the door Let's go see mother. Ball, the gardener. Picks her up and sets her on your shoulder. Oh shit, I'm on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was, so I'm fucking that. I'm <laughs> I was I was kind of liking the storytelling with that. <laughs> uh, 
he's gonna get about 10 steps in front of you oh god damn it come here you're so slow ah. if you accept he's going to put you on his shoulder as well oh 100 I'm, I'm accepting <laughs> Oh, the faster we get done talking to your mother, the quicker we can go to the kitchen and try out the new food. <laughs> while, while I'm on his shoulder, can I offer him something? Mm hmm I, I still got a, uh, a, a pipe pack with some uh, Dr. Todd and Mrs. Junk in it. I, I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull it out and act like I'm gonna take a rip on it, and I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna hand it over to him first. What do you have there, little dragonborn? You ever had uh, <clears throat> weed from the Fey? Does a bear shit in the woods? <sighs> You don't know a uh, totemist, do you? I have heard of his legend. Well, then, I will allow you to smoke this entire pipe. Because had you not had Dr. Totemus's finest from the Fey, you haven't lived at all. He grabs it from your hands with like little tweezers, like it's a roach <laughs> in Big Lebowski. And he. <laughs> Pulls so strong and so quickly that the suction just irreparably burns your pipe. He pulls the he pulls the fucking embers through. Son of a bitch! God damn it! It's a slow burn <sighs> pipe. God damn it! Hands it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> he begins to wobble from side to side. You are currently the only thing in control from him is you currently have to mount the back of his head and pull on either <laughs> side. I'm riding the giant, I'm, let's go! I need, I need you to roll <laughs> on pulling on either side of his ear and hair to keep him straight. Just roll a 1d10 <laughs> for either side. All right, perfect. I love it. 1d10. This one's going to be an eight. Eight. Ooh, able to pull the right side straight. Go ahead, roll another d10. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going to be a four. <laughs> oh, it's going to start to lean towards one side. It's getting close. Go ahead and roll, roll that side again. All right, roll the same side. All right, yep. same side. That one is going to be a nine. Nine. <laughs> You're able to correct and pull him up slight, slightly. This is going to set you. <laughs> All the way here. Yes. Yeah. We're making At this point. headway now. <laughs> Oh, such a counterpoint to everything. Wall. Such a counterpoint to everything that's going up fucking top. <laughs> All right. And that's going to end your turn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I'm going to get mine. I'm going to hug a tree hard as well. Uh, that's going to give me seven back. I'm back to 23 of 69. All right. <laughs> yeah, giggity. Considering I'm not going to be able to get us out of here if we're going to get in bad shape, I'm going to cast my six level spell.
Hmm. All right. I'm gonna grab a branch from Ramus and a branch from Remus. And I'm gonna concentrate. I'm gonna form all my spell power up as I can. And you're gonna see every little firefly swarm into my hands as possible is this bright radiant light and i'm going to bring it down into a single cylinder that drops over sans surrey and as this single sunbeam spreads out a massive sunwell is dropped upon her She's got to make a constitution saving throw. If she fails the sunbeam attack, she will be blinded. And this attack persists. Did you, uh, did you just cast a hammer of dawn? <laughs> <laughs> the fey version. All right. This is radiant damage. It's a 30 foot, five foot wide, 60 foot long. Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna public roll this. Sansuri. Has. A plus six to her constitution. Oh god, it's a plus 10 on the saving throw. Fuck! Alright, my... My DC... My DC is a 16. Alright. Let's do this, baby. Not gonna get it. She's gonna take half damage and she's not gonna be blinded. But I can keep creating this each turn without having to cast a new spell. So she's gonna take half of 68. That's nice. Is there a chance to blind her each time? Each time. That's awesome. It's a dope spell. Mm -hmm. All right, sixty-eight. All right, she's gonna take thirteen points of damage. Ugh. I want that bitch blinded by science. That's going to end Shikios' turn. Harshnag's going to go in hard. <laughs> he will just hit with an 18. And he's going to get a 24. It's going to do another 42 points of damage. I am going to go use a quick restroom break. I'm going to be right back. Ooh. Have fun. <laughs> Emery, Ruby, Hister, you're all up next. Okay. I'm giant ride, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure he's too high when he gets up here to do any fighting. 
uh, that was the idea. Get him fucking lit. I'm, yeah. I, the, the, the shitty thing is my pipe is fucking toast now. So I mean, literally, while I'm controlling this fucking giant, that thing is gone. Thank goodbye to my fucking. Sacrifice. Goodbye to my dragon pipe that I had that was fucking <laughs> really fucking cool. Yep. Oh well. Get another one eventually. <laughs> we'll see. God damn it. Hey, you know what? If I was going to expend the last bit of that fucking Dr. Totemus fucking weed, that was going to be the time to play it right there. I'm glad you finally have a way to get up here faster. I was just... Oh, God. My... I like, oh, have no God. idea. As as I started moving through the underbelly, I'm like, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to get back before they're dead. I no. really don't know if I'm going to get back before they're dead because I burned... I, I burned all my action surge cards that I had. I burned all my fucking dashes. I have no, I would have literally been creeping at at about You've 30 fucking per turn. You made it work though. It could have been oh. worse. You could have it, not had dash and we'd just sit there waiting. Yeah, that would have been fucking hell. turns later. No thanks. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. You know what I've been thinking? No. What? I, I never want to know what you've been thinking, but yeah, you probably don't I'll listen. Never mind. Oh, I, was just, I was thinking yeah. earlier that uh, why have we not, uh, you know, all bought hookahs and collectively smoked hookah on these 18 plus streams? Uh, I mean, that's I'm that's good. that's that's a question for the ages. <laughs> it's a great but, question. Why are we not doing this? When we do our Aladdin RP fucking D&D, uh, &D, then we'll all just rock that for you. I'll be honest, I've never lit my own hookah. I've always paid for it. What? It's fucking just, just light the charcoal on fire with a fucking torch and go to town. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a fucking bagpipe. I, I've, I, I've, I've smoked hookah in more different countries than I have in the States. <laughs> You sure you went to college? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, the ones that we had were always the, the uh, non-alcoholic ones, so we wouldn't go to them. <laughs> oh, wait, you couldn't drink and hookah? No. That was problems. There's a dumb... Uh, oh, don't even get me started. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're just over there. There's no point. No, no. But don't worry, I made up for it in Montreal. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There's a whole lot less purple sticky punch in Montreal because of you. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, man. Let's get into this. Let's do it. Is it my turn or is it Sansuri's turn? Sansuri's turn. We could skip her. That's okay. <laughs> Nobody will miss her turn. We skip Dante's turn. We can skip her. She's hers. stuck in an atrium. Where's she gonna? What's she gonna do? <laughs> More lightning. What the fuck? Sorry, I gotta refresh. Roll twenty. It's okay. Oh, that's where my music went. Still got mine. Lucky bastard. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Mud always persists to seem to have the music still. It's just music in his head. They just actually that, hear it. That's that fiber connection. <laughs> that's just funny. Thank you. A lot of strings going on. Mm. Oh. You are going to once again see Sansuri begin to produce a spell. Counter spell. All right. Third third level again. Good luck. This buddy. is a seventh level spell. Holy shit! <laughs> go, 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 go. You're gonna be great. So. She has a plus nine. Oh, God. As she begins to cast Mordenkainen's sword. That would be a little nat 20, buddy. All right. Oh, okay. Blue steel right there. Here's her roll. 19. 
she only rolled a 19. <laughs> Why can my body do something to something? 21. Craps! <laughs> How that worked out, I have no idea. Dude, it, had Ho she rolled anything higher than a fucking 10? Oh, hold, on. <laughs> hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. She's using a legendary. She game. gets. Fuck you, man. She gets. She gets two for every level above. So fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. That's a tie. Hmm. Uh, lucky then. Winner goes to Emery. <laughs> he tried harder. If it's a tie, then we go to a, a roll off. Unless you you want to use one of your luckies, and we'll still. <sighs> oh God. We'll do the we'll do the roll off. I can use a lucky on the roll off if I need to. Did she lose her advantage on the roll off? Uh, she yeah she doesn't have a she doesn't have advantage on the uh, on the roll off. She's rolling it's just a straight she, roll off. She's well on 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 this roll off. She still has uh, advantage. She still has level advantage. That's yeah. the that's that's the difference. Okay. All right. Literally pooping my pants right now. This is crazy. All right. What's the problem? I'm ready. Oh shit! That's only a 14. Oh, okay. Uh, Come on, Emery. 30 20! 30 20! Oh my god. As, oh, both the forces of spells meet. Hold up for a second. In Emory, you're able to just hold on before it explodes and you see that sword that was beginning to form vaporize. Just like Harry Potter and Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it, Peter. You're doing it. Entirely pissed off that her seventh spell, seventh level spell didn't work. She's gonna go and just backhand Harshnag. What a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck this woman. <laughs> I'm messing with one of my favorite people right now, so I'm sorry that was, that was a reaction on my part. I don't even really know what's going on right now, but fuck that bitch. <laughs> she rolls in that one while she hit one of her golems. <laughs> I will I will flavor the fuck out of it. Uh all right. Yeah, no, she ain't missing. That's a 27. So oh God. another <laughs> shot to the nuts. <laughs> he's he's standing up. This is this is more like it hits his face all the way down to his rib cage. I never wanted children anyways. Are these death saving Baraka. throws? Is he unconscious? No, he's still up. No, he's up. He was just prone. Oh. He was just prone. Yeah, but I thought she did. She nut tapped him. And I thought that put him down. No. <laughs> the nuts. He's got. He's got life. He's. It's gonna be thirty-four points of damage. He's taking ninety-seven. He's got <coughs> ninety. He's taking ninety-seven uh, points of damage. He's got two hundred and four. No more balls. Maybe I can lend him my ring of growth, and it'll grow him back. <laughs> 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 This is everyone's trying to take Harsneg's balls like I tried to take fucking I'll give history's him his hand. Balls back. Don't worry. <laughs> Quit trying to take my balls, goddammit. Two, two Harsneg is gonna give you semen on a beam. That's it. Uh... <laughs> I'll send him the address. <laughs> P.O. <P>. box. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Emery, it is your turn. I will you lose. Oh. I'm actually I'm gonna use arcane recovery from stream loots. Burning them cards. So I have an arcane recovery. What do I got? Uh, 
class level, round it up. So six, I'm gonna take a fourth level and a second level, I guess. Um, yeah, so does that use an action to use arcane recovery? I don't know. No, we just, it's, it's, uh, it's just a card. Okay. We don't really, I don't know what we, we don't really have a name for it. Okay. So I'm using arcane recovery to get a couple spells back. Uh, and then I am going to hold that dimension door. Or wait to counter spell, you know, one of the two. All right, Ruby, it is your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use your turn and then we'll, I'll use Dante. Um, somebody well, roll. Dante went first last time. He can go okay. and go. Uh, somebody want to roll a D6 for me? I do. Do it. That's a four. Four. He does not get his breath weapon back. Oh. Do I get healing me. again? By those fey? Or by the trees? Yeah. Doves? Yeah. Hug okay, that okay, fucking tree. Yeah, one, one D8 plus two. Tree. Uh, Dante, Dante seeing the, the backhand, he, he's going to go in and try to bite Sansuri's neck. No doubt in my mind. He's a shit. He would definitely go for the neck bite. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it. 17. He's not going to hit. So Suka got clawing, doesn't he? No, he's just a, he's just a, just a wormling, man. Oh, baby boy. All right. Hister Faust. Hey. Giant Rider. Me. I should say, stumble to Giant Rider. It's my turn. Oh, shit. God damn it. I just skipped you. <laughs> it's my turn. Oh, you're, you're, you're like, here, take this turn. Now I take it away from you. <laughs> you just don't get it. All right. Okay, you know how this is gonna go. Yep, I know. Roll all three. Okay. Are you burnt on spells? Are you saving? Eldridge, Eldridge Blast is just my camp trip. Yeah, I know. Are you, you just hold on to them? Yeah. Well, some of them are are good to hurt harsh nag. Like shatter. Mm -hmm. Sleep would probably affect him. I and the others are constitution. Which she's really freaking good at. Yeah, true, true. I get it. I'm not like, bold enough to run in. I've got, I'm, I'm going, I'm, yeah, I've been, I've got a strategy. It's not great, but I'm working with it. I'm, work, I'm working with what I got over here. I'm working with what I got. Um, oh, wait, that one went. You guys have done 210 25. points of damage. Thanks to okay. largely harsh nag. <laughs> Basically, everything you're doing ain't for shit. The big guy, he's putting the damage in. All right, first one was a 25, second one is a dirty 20, third one is a... Everything above 18, you're 24. good to go. We're good to go, so I'm going to roll all three of those. <laughs> Dong! 15 <laughs> points that. of damage. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> little by little. <laughs> Sorry, let me move my water bottle out of my rolling. <laughs> I just wanted it within arm's reach. Uh huh. Get longer arms. Thanks. Okay, and then I am going to give myself 30 feet away. I will end my turn. All right. <laughs> Dino Rider. Hister Faust. Ride 
this giant. You know what I'm doing. All right. We know where we're going. We're going up top. He knows where we're going too. All right. Go ahead and give me a. We're gonna do on this one. We're gonna give you a animal handling check. <laughs> Your DC is a 14. Animal handling check. Let me find my animal handling. Okay. Got it. Here we go. You want first one animal handling check? That will be a 16 on the first one. All right. You're going to be able to tug on those ears and get them to go all the way through. I can't wait to try this new suit. Oh, my mouth is so dry. <laughs> As you guys see, Oh, sister, what is going on here? You still have your action, Hister. You are currently on one shoulder and Alistair's on the other. Am I saying that right? I can't remember what we, I gotta go back. What do we fucking name her? Shit. Alistair. Okay, Alistair. Yeah. I had a very different name. What'd you have? No, 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 it's fine. Let's go with it. Oh, what, what was I'm what was the name? What, what was the name? No, I, no, it was. I had like an R in there. Alistra. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I had. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that, Alistra. Yeah. Now I can remember it. <laughs> Alistra. Yeah. Oh, Alistra. Totally. Okay. Cool. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're like, oh, she's correcting us with a name. We add an R, and we're like, yeah, we'll call her Alice, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about what a bunch of asshole dudes? What are you gonna uh, do? Fuck me. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. God damn it, I don't wanna fucking do this. It hurts. It really hurts me when I do it. I am going to use my action to restrain my stoner buddy with the fucking dimensional shackles. Oh. I need to take him out of the equation only because I don't want to hurt him. All right. These shackles. Those shackles are not giant sized. They they I have I have they go they have oh. them going from small to large. Small to large? Uh, this would be this would be a double cuff at best. <laughs> this would be a double cuff at best so large doesn't cover giants is what you're saying what you say giants are fat huh giants are giant <laughs> not large all right well i really thought my dimensional shackles would would cover him with small to large but well i guess i need to think this now about the only thing you're gonna be able to lock up is the fucking little debbie cakes that he's gonna try to get at in a minute <laughs> Fucking, I don't want to kill this guy. But if I fucking have Wait. to fight him, I need to do it now. You don't even know if you have to fight him. You made a lot of assumptions. I and I don't want to fight him, even if I have to fight him. But Why the, are you so concerned with him? Because I, I don't want to hurt people who don't have to be hurt. That's Everyone part of it. That's Debbie cake. That's part of fucking Hister's order. You don't understand. That's that's his thing. He's not trying to hurt the innocent. This guy, as far as he knows, is totally innocent. He's a goddamn stoner. That's why I gave him his pipe. That's why he's fi fucking related to him. You guys Hister's a fucking... children earlier. Radio sees uh, himself as this giant. 
Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Didn't you guys want to murder children like two episodes ago? I'm all for it still. <laughs> we're never going to murder a child. I what was. <laughs> you might have been, but Hister would have never allowed it. I'm ready to skewer the babies. We do plenty of it in the Feywild. <laughs> God damn it! Just seeing the situation and knowing that he's losing control of his fucking stoner giant, he's going to grab fucking uh, Alistra and, and 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 grapple her and, and and jump over by where the fucking rest of the group is over by the fey trees. Won't hurt the stoner, but he's fucking taking the kid. All right, go for it. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, roll a uh, roll strength contest. Strength? Mm -hmm. Shoot, I do well at strength. I mean, she's a baby giant, so good luck. That that's going to be a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven? She's got a uh she's got a nineteen. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because are they're full six foot four monsters. <laughs> All right. Put both hands on her. You got her grappled. And we're going over to the rest of the group. We're jumping <laughs> off the fucking giant shoulders. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and give me an athletics check as you jump off of of uh all shoulders. This should be dirty. <laughs> it's gonna be athletics is plus one. Oh wait, eleven. Uh, that's going to be a 28. 28. You do it as gracefully as you can, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That just that sounded pretty funny, jumping off a giant shoulders while grappling a giant baby. <laughs> There's nothing graceful about that. Mm -hmm. It's it's all fucking pulling hair and <laughs> just nonsense. Oh shit. All right, that's gonna be the end of your turn. Uh, where you're at, go ahead and roll a 1d8 plus two. I'm gonna hug the fuck out of that tree and I'm gonna take my seven points. Two, that'll be eight for me. Okay, cool, love it. Thank you. Ding, friends are done. All right, so do, do I at least get a, a a second of dialogue as I, I hit the oh, ground yeah. with, uh, mm -hmm. with the baby? I'm, broad, I'm gonna broadcast this over the fucking earpiece so everybody knows. All right, she hated her fucking son, so I brought her daughter. The donor gardener is a bit of a, a I, I don't know. He, he, he brought me here. Please don't try and kill him. That'll end my turn. All right. Before Chikios' turn with a layer action. A fucking layer action. D's. Not even noticing who's come up the steps yet. Sansuri begins to channel the energy inside of that remaining shell as you see here beginning to cast another spell Ooh, one last counter spell <laughs> good luck buddy <laughs> just throw them left and right mm -hmm. god bless you last one Ooh, that's Actually, a, technically not last one but ooh, it's a 25 one. Is it even possible for you Actually, to no, it's a 28. It's 28. See, I think it's impossible unless I can yep. use... Uh, unless you get a 20. Like, you gotta get a... You gotta get a nat 20. Unless I can use inspiration, but I don't think I can. Oh. Nope, I'm gonna use luck, though. Or lucky. <laughs> nat fucking one. Oh! oh damn it! Oh! Shit. Got real excited. Sorry to get you. Oh, there. fuck. Fantastic. Oh, 
right? Uh, As her hands be. come up in a barrage, she throws out arcane energy in the form of daggers. <laughs> as she cast spray of magic missiles at the seventh level. And within that one, I absorb all of them. <laughs> or you're not far from it because there is no defense to magic missile. Yeah. You will automatically take- shoot around all those walls? She's busted. She's thing. busted through. She's up and out. Oh, okay. This is going to be 7d4 plus one for each dart. So it'll be 7d4 seven, seven plus seven. And this is all gonna auto hit. So, do I get three quarters cover because I'm holding to <laughs> her daughter? You all take it. <laughs> wow. Even the daughter? Yep. And her, oh man. And the stoner. Shit. Fucking deal it out. What do we got? Oh, God. Everyone takes 28 points of damage. Solid. That's fun. Wow. I've. I'm down to two points. I just Can lived. Yeah. I just I got, lived. I got like six. Holy shit. We're moving. That's what matters. Harshneg is at 120, uh, 25 points of damage done out of 204. As, as the spray goes down, just holes of dirt, piles exploding. The dust begins to clear and you can see the shock and astonishment on her face as she can see that she's hurt her own daughter. This will be Chikios' turn. Woo, I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad you're alive too. Oh fuck. I will. I so will how cast. How can Sansuri go then? Sorry, I was just curious. How can she go? It's a layer action. The okay. bo bosses can go at any any time that they want to within the turn order. Okay. Okay. Like that, so they they're be... they have layer actions and they have legendary actions. Okay. So when you face like a like if you're to face like a major dragon inside of its layer, it has mm -hmm. it has both of them, including its own attack. Okay. Okay. So it's things that make you think on your feet during encounters. You're like, oh shit, I can't just wait to that moment. Maybe I have to go now. Okay. Got it. Now I understand. I'm gonna use my last. Actually, no, I haven't used fifth. I, I burned all my. I burned my sixth. I'm gonna use mass cure wounds. Three d eight plus four, and this is gonna hit everybody. Two, eight. Not great. Eleven. Fourteen. I can't take another big one. I got I got up to 16. As you can feel the radiant energy flow through the ley lines of the fate. Kill this bitch. All right. Harsh next turn. He's going to go and he's going to do what he's done. Just keep That's fucking rolling. Fast bro to the fucking end, man. That's all he knows. <laughs> 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 all 
Ah! It's a 22! Oh, God, I threw the namesake dice on my computer. <laughs> That's great. Oh, don't fuck me, namesake! 18! 180! Nice. That'll nice be indeed. another 42 points of damage. She's starting to take some significant damage, even in her gargantuan size. My child! Why would you bring my child up here? Let go of her now! If you don't let go of her, I will unleash hell on you! She's going to hold her action watching what the next person does. <clears throat> and it's pointed at you, Hister. Is it my turn then? Yes. Okay, I will first take that healing from the tree. <laughs> first thing. Uh, dun 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 dun. I will. <laughs> seeing that, uh, obviously, I can observe that she is much more protective of this daughter than she was of the son. I will, uh... <clears throat> I will run up next to Hister and, uh, and the daughter. You know, right next to her. And I, and I actually am gonna, I'm gonna look at her and say, give us the conch and let us go. Or I will take your daughter and drive her into the ground. And I'm going to hold the mention door to take her daughter off the, off the. <laughs> if she doesn't give us a conch, I'm taking that daughter straight through the castle. So if you do, you'll be take you'll have to take Hister as well, because Hister's holding her. That's fine. But Hister has the ring. Yeah. A lot of pieces there. Mm-hmm. You can Roll. you can bet your ass I'm not casting Featherfall to the last second. Roll an intimidation check. It's my intimidation. 17. Business. Right. Ruby. Turn. Uh, since we've established a pattern of Dante going next, do we want to as long as I get to mm -hmm. go after? Dante cool. goes with me. <laughs> now we've established this pattern, so Dante's gonna go ahead and um. <laughs> Just don't skip me again like the other patterns. Yep. I'm gonna roll <laughs> the, that D six. Damn it, it's a four again. He's gonna try to. I mean. Yeah, he's gonna go. He's gonna try to bite her neck. 
That's a 12. Plus six, that'll hit. Oh shit. He's got a plus six on that bite. Let's go. He's gonna do nine points of piercing damage. Plus three fire damage. You can see a little bit of the blood draining from her neck. Kissed her. No. No, no. God damn it, I tried to do ah, it. No. 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 It's, if anything, I'm consistent. No. Ruby, it's your turn. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I'm going to do the same thing again. Alright, that is going to be a 21. And that, yeah, well, I rolled an 18 plus 9, so that's over already. I'm just not going to do the math. That's also 17 plus whatever I have, so that, I just don't want to add it. It's, I have a plus 7, so you know that's over. Um, so I'm going to just roll those three for the sake of time. <laughs> you cool with that? Yep. Longer than the math. Give me a total. 15 points of damage. And I am going to make that feline agility run for this. I'm going to go in it. Robot. I'd like to go in the door, please. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're trying to run over over this this door right here. Yep. Yes. All right. As <laughs> you you need to give me an athletics check to see how sl hard you slam into this door. It is not locked, but for you to push this thing open, it's going to be incredible. <laughs> Okay. That is going to be 21. Is that enough for a heavy door? 21. You throw your body into it. <sighs> and fly oh, into this room. Yes. Inside this room, you see wall-to-wall -wall masks of every oh. different style of emotion. As they completely wrap and spiral up the steps. Oh. To the top. Is there her? As you see one mask begin to float up from the middle of the room and rise up as your eyes lock onto it. You feel every muscle in your body begin to tense. Oh, as you gonna stand up on the back of my begin to paralyze in place. And luckily for a nat 20 from that roll, you're able to shrug off just enough to where you are not frozen in place. You can choose to shut that door and walk out or stay in there. That is your choice. Uh, 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 
What is the one mask that came floating? What does it look like? It looks like the mask that she wore when you first met her. That sad, disgruntled face. Where's the one she has now? Do I remember? <laughs> Was I paying no, the one she has now is Rage. Okay, she has Rage. This was, and the sad one is in there. <laughs> I... Stay. What's the mask closest to me? It's like there's a couple on my right. Roll a 1d10. A 4. One second. It is a mask that looks like merriment. Hmm. And the one next to it, or do I only get the chance of the you one? Get the right one. There? Are you going to do anything with the mask you, that you went to inspect? Oh, okay. Well, I would where you get. Like, if it's against that wall, I'd like to take my, my um, take my, my dagger and just stab into it. <sighs> I'm hoping maybe the effect is it'll take away any half and she could. All right, you take and stab in the center of that mask and it breaks, shatters, falls to the ground. Anything else for your turn? That'll be it for now. Hester, it is your turn. Grappled with her daughter. I've got to address Sansuri herself. Sansuri! You've already seen my eldest son tonight. Dominus. You've seen what happens to a parent who squanders his responsibility on wars and responsibilities. When it comes to family, I've learned something in my time. Everything else should be secondary. Your children are your first responsibility. Don't make the same mistake I did. I'm making reparations for my actions now. Don't wait until it's too late. I know how you feel about your daughter. I felt the same way about my children. But yet I was led astray. 
to do dumb things like war. Conquest. The glory of others. Never once did I think about the glory of my family. That's a regret I have in life. That's something I regret now. I offer you a simple trade. I'll give you your daughter. If you give us the conch. That's all we want from you. Learn from my mistakes. It's not worth anything to give up family for things, for items, for anything. And as I finish that, I'm going to cast Lay on Hands on her daughter who I'm holding, who just took that damage and I'm going to give her five points of healing. At the same time that you do this, I look over at Emery. Fucking go. Drop that bitch. Uh, <laughs> Drop it. Yep. I, uh, I close my eyes and, uh, a circular dimension, um, a door appears below us and drop through it. In that dimension door at the same time. Oh, shit. Hister. Alistar, Emery, and Shikios go down through that door. <sighs> Hister, I want you to roll a pers persuasion check with advantage. That's going to be 28. So, this would be who's left up here. Harshnag looks up and can see instantly before Hister begins his speech the joy is sapped from her eyes before it even starts. As Sansiri begins to weep while Hister talks, And during the entire process, she almost drops down to a single knee as it looks like any joy in this life has been taken from her. And as it goes along, she sees you heal her daughter, the wounds that she inflicted herself and she begins to cry. As the seconds count down, Emery, Hister, Chikios, as we are all falling. Falling at great rate.
We have no idea. All looking at each other. When to make this call. As the seconds continue to drop. As we pass through clouds, we begin to see the green earth down below us. We're able to start to make out small structures and farms. You can see the fright on that child's eyes as you hold her. How long do you continue to hold? I'm holding her tighter. And as I hold her, I'm gonna whisper, it's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna let you get hurt. I wait till the very last second and cast feather fall on everybody who's falling as a reaction, including the child. As you guys all cast feather fall, Chikios cast hidden paths. As you begin to slide down, I grab her. As you guys gently fall down to the ground, Ruby, you come out of the castle, Spire, and come and see Harshnag and Dante. Both standing out in front of the doorway as a crying hands on her knees Sansuri has a levitating conch of teleportation levitating in the middle of that spire as you walk up and you put your hand on it and hold it for the first time, it cuts to Chikios in the Feywild, who leaves Alistar there. Oh my God. And amps back up to where the group is at and I use my hero point to cast hidden paths one last time. And that's where we will end this week's episode. <laughs> oh my God. Nice. Well done. <laughs> I'm fucking emotionally drained. <laughs> well done. Who didn't die? It's all fun and games until yep. daughter gets kidnapped. 
Oh my god, no, you have no idea. That's that's fucking real right there. <sighs> no. Wow. Fuck that bitch, cause she's gonna come back. Gotta no, keep I mean gotta keep something, but she hurt her own daughter. So we got a fucking chip. Oh, not only did she hurt her own daughter, she saw someone who was seen as her enemy help her. That's that's the head fuck there. That's the mm. shit. Not only that, but Ruby destroying the joy. Oh, you took the her joy. joy. Mask. You I took mean, her joy away. You not only did you oh. take her joy away. I might be the real monster. <laughs> oh God, yes. Oh God, yes. Because oh. she can't take joy in the fact that she knows her daughter is alive and she's a fuck up. Literally, she's an empty shell without joy. Wow, what a fucking state to leave Sanseri in. <laughs> At, dude, give, you know, the shit that I've written into history story about him being a shitty parent is being relived by that woman right there, tenfold. Except oh. I didn't take any of my children into battle or dude. do my shit with them around. Oh my God. Clutch, clutch holding that dimension door, man. That was good shit. I enjoyed y'all's strategy immensely. It's the only one way to get out of a force field like that. <sighs> Holy so shit. So we're currently all on the ground. I was, evil. I was never going to kill the child. Emery already studied children. Even a mask of joy is a mask of merit. Joy Mary meant same thing. She can't have a party it's without a fucking the same thing, but I get what you're going. Yeah, I mean it's her it's as an aristocrat, that's that is her outlet. Where would Lord and, where would Lord Roinghorn be without his merriment? True. Like the rest of us. I was Commoner. gonna take that fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you Dude, had it been anyone else but Chikios I would have fought you on Removing the child from my arms mm. Had it been Emery Had it been Ruby, had it been Harshnag no. Had it been I, anyone else but do I name sure there was One distance. person That fucking Hester trusts Completely mm. At this point a bitch, You would have got a fight from me That bitch is getting raised in the Feywild now Fuck that shit That's a good mm. choice that's fucking I, I Theon Greyjoy that bitch. Is going to raise her? <laughs> I was just gonna bluff like I was gonna Dragon Ball Z smash her in the ground. <laughs> I mean, me and That's the speeding body missile style. Me, me, me and Emery were were definitely gonna go for the like we're gonna fucking kill you angle, and then his Hister brought a whole human side to it, and it worked because she got hit. Uh, she she got I, hit. He knew that feeling on her face when he hit her it's because true. he did the same thing to his son earlier. I picked up on exactly that moment because it, it, it he didn't want worked out that dominus. way. He didn't want her dominus at the very beginning of this. He hit him with the side of his axe so it became a real fucking pain in the ass. And then he gave him the fucking bite. And that that moment right there is how he can relate to Sansuri good story is complicated and layered oh, fuck it's good shit it's exhausted. thank you guys that was a absolute blast mud and ruby have to take off because they have obligations so they're gonna wave yes. goodbye to this vod love you guys be good to each other we'll see you next week see you guys some of us will <laughs>